Uh, I just got a text from Joel saying, in transit, go ahead and start, and I'll come in Kramer style. So, Which is, I think, what Probably. we've been doing. <laughs> it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. We made you put the Probably. headphones on. We've just been chatting. Welcome back to All the Marbles, everybody, where the like... stakes have never been higher. Uh, uh, we've got Curtis Braxdale and Andrew Young King. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, Joel Paul is, is incoming, imminently. Um, He's coming. Yeah. Kramer Art. style. And his wife. Congratulations. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The way. Six I don't more know days. that he did. I think they were uh, test days. tubing it. Um, I don't know. Don't tell him I said that. Um, would you rather fuck, uh, Curtis, would you rather fuck your girlfriend who is inhabiting your mother's body or your okay. mother who is inhabiting your girlfriend's body? Um. Oh, in parentheses, if you date men, switch it to boyfriend and father. Okay. Uh, I'd say, I think I have to go girlfriend, body, mom, brain. A hundred percent. Um, cause I mean, at the end of the day, my, I'm my mom's favorite, so she'd probably be proud of me. <laughs> okay. The fact that I even have a girlfriend in this hypothetical means my mom is already satisfied with my gotcha. Lang life choices. <laughs> gotcha. So yeah, I think um, yeah, I think I I, th I don't think I can fuck my mom's body, not like that. Um, so I'm gonna go girlfriend body. A hundred percent. Were your yep. parents supportive of the idea of you dating like throughout your entire uh, perceptual history, or was there like a thresh uh, a threshold crossing where like you're not allowed to date until oh, a certain no, I was point, very and encouraged. then after that, okay, there, <laughs> I was yeah. I was so I was much of a loser to the point where my mo my parents were like, you need to get a like get a girlfriend. When did so those pussy. conversations start happening? How old were you when uh, that like when they first started? So like, hey, where are the chicks? They 22. were first. So I. I socially peaked in sixth grade. Okay. So in fifth, Didn't sixth, we all? fifth, sixth grade, I was a real player. Like I had multiple girlfriends, um, <laughs> and they were accepting of that. Like they were like, yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah. He had I, a harem. My mom would. I did have a harem. My mom would drive me to Skate City, where I would go just to kiss my girlfriends. I didn't skate, <laughs> or I did skate. I had. I had skate. I could skate, but I didn't want to skate. I just wanted to kiss my girlfriends. So like I came here to, to 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 roller skate and to kiss girls, and my skates are too big. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my mom willingly drove me to and from Skate City, so they knew what was like. They were not. They were very accepting okay. of uh, me. In the opposite sex. Gotcha, gotcha. Dude, I've never been more proud of you than in this moment <laughs> right now. Yeah, guys. Not I, even hosting for Bobby Kelly. Like ah! this. Guys, I kissed girls and uh, watched them drink Monster Energy, and I didn't because my mom wouldn't let me drink energy drinks. Fuck yeah. So, That's a smart mom right there. There was yeah. uh, there was girls that were real, like, uh, call it white trash. Call it what you want. They would have, like, a little, like, dog tag, like a little beaded necklace. And okay. on the dog tag, like, on the little beaded thing, they would put all of the tabs from every monster that they've drank. And they would have, like, a green section, Fuck, a yeah. blue section, a red section, like, the different flavors of monster. Wow. Yeah. Next year, you're going to talk about the burn pits, I didn't dude. That I, was trashy <laughs> as fuck. I didn't kiss those girls. I kissed okay. the other ones. But gotcha. there were girls that had that. Just, they were just dude, yeah, because if you kiss yes. those yeah. girls, they'd take you in the back and fucking blow you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do, like, I... I do specifically remember it was like fifth, sixth grade that I went to Skate City and I would just like kiss the girl that I was dating and I was just like, yeah, there's nothing, nothing more than this. This is as far as it goes. This is what adults do all the That's time. Right. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, yeah. Can't wait to grow up and do this instead of school. Yeah, right. it was, uh, yeah, that, that's, I didn't know, I don't think I, there was like, we knew about it, like sex really. Yeah. So I was just like making out with my girlfriend. I'm like, this is, I'm an adult right now. Oh yeah. It's honestly pretty fucking hot. Uh, Andrew, which technology should never have been invented? Um, the weather machines, dude. I don't know why we let them <laughs> have this <laughs> much power. <laughs> um, I don't Super know. Super anti-cloud seeding. Andrew I could, uh, I would argue probably, probably social media, right? If we're being for real, like the amount of damage that that's done in terms of like, spreading crazy amounts of like disinformation like propagating like you know ideologies up and uh Just the uh the character that you're playing the guy that watched one netflix documentary and changed his entire personality <laughs> <laughs> no dude i mean like I agree, I agree, dude without social media there's no furries dude that's true <laughs> Like without me, there's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think that like the werewolf myth started? I'm pretty sure we've had furries around. Dude, we just, yeah. you, you just wouldn't have known about them. Now like, people ate weird mushrooms and yeah, they man. saw actual wolves. Yeah, man. Like the Vikings were taking the mushrooms. They thought they were bears. You thought that you think they they were only like pillaging. Uh, nah, they were like, oh, we're all bears. Have you this seen is... uh, the Northman? No. <laughs> kind of a furry. Yeah. Let's be honest. I mean, well, yeah. Interesting. So, something to think about. 
Cowboys. So if you're if you're strictly against social media and it's I'm not. Birth of <laughs> I'm not. Okay. I'm not really against any technology. Like people would say, say like neural link gas and or something, sh- but you went with social media. You were gonna say what? Mustard gas, but you went with like social media. <laughs> so I don't know. Dude, Things that bring people use together. Too. Yeah, I guess so. It's spreading democracy. A hundred percent makes the sandwich gas <laughs> taste better. <laughs> Taylor, uh, out of all of your past sexual experience experiences, what has made you the most uncomfortable? I that last episode. Give me a different question. <laughs> You're sick of talking about your uncle? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of talking about the same ex every episode, Andrew. <laughs> Are we talking about... Ooh. No. Oh, wait. Is there is there like a, a real ex that dominates most of the... I don't listen to the podcast. I've seen clips, but I didn't oh. know there was like uh, a... Not by name, but 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 there's 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 quite a few... Uh, it's the uh, one uh, that everybody on knows. It's not... It's a hundred percent the one that comes with into the open mic. It's not a no nope, <laughs> that woman? one either. Not that one either. <laughs> um, if everyone in the room were arranged on a spectrum of attractiveness of track of attractiveness, which two people would you be between? Uh let's see. I would be between uh <laughs> It's a real tough question when there's four only two and people. Curtis four, and the Curtis cat. and four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Curtis being below four, of course. <laughs> well, uh, no, no. Like, aesthetically, maybe. But, like, attra- once you throw the word attractive, I don't know how attracted I am to my cat. You know? Speak for yourself. Like, I'd say my cat's pretty. But if they're like, how attractive is she? I'm like, eh. I'm not a furry. I feel like you can be attracted in a way that's not sexual. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brother, I was playing a character. <laughs> you passed the test. <laughs> I was saying of you a queer. <laughs> Uh, okay. Is it my t- wait? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick someone who you, pick which one of us. This works better when there's all four people because it, it feels less hurtful yes. to be like. And dude, get, okay. get which one of, one of the two of get, us do you want to? I do feel left out. Okay. Taylor, pick a card. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna what's what's go that? Blue what's, card. what's that blue one again? Controversial. Controversial. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I do agree with this. Regardless of your conscious beliefs or actions, do you feel in your gut that sex work is degrading? Yes. Okay. What do you mean by degrading? Uh. Degrading. It's. So how did the question start? I know what I know by degrading, but like. Uh, regard, regardless, regardless of your conscious beliefs or actions, do you feel in your gut that sex work is degrading? I think sex work creates a relationship where you view your body and your sexuality as transactional, and I don't know that that's healthy. Gotcha. So in that way, it degrades your own personal like value of your own moral. I don't know. Nice. No. But, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean. That makes sense. True. That's how I feel. Could be an upgrade, though. Some <laughs> some chicks are just giving it out for free. I mean, to be honest, if you think you can't get laid ever, and mm-hmm. then you get paid to have sex, that probably that boosts your upgrade. confidence. But it's uh, not degrading. That's upgrading. Yeah, that, yeah exactly. Okay. Got Hello. Wah. That was cool. You could like tell that she, and then she was gonna bounce. <laughs> I had no idea. I was like, how did you predict that? You like minority reported your own cat. I, did. <laughs> I was like, yo. I've got two precogs in vats in my bedroom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> two of his tall ex-girlfriends in a bed. Y'all can keep legs. his ex-girlfriends in his trunk. That's That's what what he, at least you give him a spare bedroom. Keep him in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> I got a new car. <laughs> okay. Wait, it's your turn to be asked a question. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. What is the go- who gives a fuck about okay. these turns? What is the goofiest thing you have done while on medication, Taylor? Uh, I am very rarely on medication, Andrew. I don't. Which What's not, the best medication you've ever taken? Best medication I've ever taken? Yeah. I. Don't, uh, I don't know fentanyl. I don't know. The, they gave you fentanyl. When did they give you in fent? a hospital when I when I got my gallbladder out. Fuck yeah, they right did. After the, right after the surgery. Hell and yeah. They were like here's a, we're gonna we're gonna give you a fentanyl patch drip. or IV drip. Hell yeah. yeah. It was fine. Yeah, it's a good music. Time. It was okay. I don't know what the yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Uh... I found it underwhelming, but personally, but it's not for everybody. Yeah, that's not. Is that like? You did? They gave you fentanyl. That drip. Is that the same thing that people are like obsessed with and like dying over? Yeah. It, yeah, I it's mean, like, just... or was it like a micro dose of what people get high off of, or is it, it like, been a, or was it like a good dose? It, it would have been, been a good dose. dose. It would have been, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It wouldn't be a micro dose. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be the dose that people are dying of. But it, gotcha. <laughs> I really, I mean, like, you're, what people are chasing when they end up dying of a yeah. thing. So it's yeah. usually yeah. that's a miscalculation, is what they're doing. Yeah, gotcha. Is, 
the biggest issue with fentanyl is pressed pills right now, and the issue with that is if you're not operating like with the powder like at the exact right concentrate you're going to have some pills that have less fentanyl in them and some pills that have more fentanyl in them mm -hmm. and then you're selling them like they are pharmaceutical grade and oxycontin by, when you say you're selling them you're talking about you yourself and the donkey <laughs> selling them right uh, <laughs> what's the statute of limitations <laughs> But uh, yeah, so people take things thinking that they're pharmaceutical grade something else and they may have built up a tolerance to say like 60 milligrams of Oxycontin and then they take uh, two dirty 30s and they fall the fuck out and uh, all they would have to do is turn their head to the side, but they don't. They just choke on their own vomit and die in the front seat of their car. That's the dream. And then the oh. police come around asking all kinds of questions. <laughs> gotcha. That's why Joel's He's like, late. it wrecked my weekend. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay, whose turn is it? Uh, Curtis, pick a card to, to, to ask Yonki. If you don't give me one of those fucking good ones, dude. <laughs> okay. Listen, they're all just as good or bad. There's not... That's there's true. better and worse cards in here. There's better and worse cards in these. Trust me. We Dude, went through what, these last week. What happened the last time you accidentally lost something on or in your body? <laughs> oh. Um. I don't know that I've lost something. I am absolutely certain that I've swallowed a balloon of drugs that I never shat out. Oh. <laughs> that was uh, wait. that was confusing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So you were... You put drugs in a balloon. Mm -hmm. and, and then you, you swallow it? them. You're supposed to shit them out later. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so this is to be recovered? Yes. Yeah. Like to avoid the cops or something? Yeah. yeah. How hard is it to eat a balloon? Um, you just swallow it. depends it. on how well you lubricate. Yeah. Olive oil? This is a, yeah, you coat it in oil. It, I grew it up in the next, so this is a world I don't know anything <laughs> about. Lubricating your own body to swallow a balloon? Like, you were like, you're like, what's uh, the mule? <laughs> you, were like, you, were like, you were your own drug yeah. mule. <laughs> Yeah. Also, do you know, like, when you're shitting out a balloon, do you know you're shitting out a balloon? No, probably. I mean... Or does it, it just feel like a normal shit? Yeah, you're like, dude, oh, it hey, squeaks. You ever... You ever see people make those, like, balloon dogs? Yeah, yeah. It sounds a lot like that. So Shout does, out Brock, Bis does uh, the, Brock Bristow. Does the balloon... Is the balloon impervious to, like, stomach acid and stuff, or...? Yeah, it, it appears to be. Well, this you balloon certainly hope it didn't. is, because if it's yeah. not, it's going to dissolve, and then you got drugs in your stomach that yeah. are then going to dissolve. Yeah, and I'm almost sure I never shat this thing out. <laughs> really? Yeah. Either that or... Lost forever. It must Either have just been an abnormally large turd that just engulfed it, it the balloon. It could have stretched out, and I could have lost it in turd. Yeah. I wasn't, like, going through my shits. <laughs> What's I'm saying? That's what you need to do if you swallow a balloon. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> If, okay, but here's the thing. Listen, this was more out of a desperation, not in an attempt to yes, like smuggle I, it in I somewhere. I if I was going into a correctional facility, I would absolutely be going through my shit. But yeah. here's the thing. If you if you put drugs in a balloon and swallow the balloon, but you don't go through your shit to find the balloon, you're just a guy who likes swallowing balloons. Like, <laughs> like, like if you're going to swallow the balloon, go through the shit. Like, you can't do one and not the other. <laughs> it just makes you weird. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I just been I swallowed a balloon last week. For shits and gigs. <laughs> Didn't even go through my shit. Don't know where it's at. Dude, I shit in public, so <laughs> you can't exactly be fucking combing through your own shit in the quick trip bathroom. You can if there's valuable drugs in it. <laughs> That's true. I mean I've never I don't do drugs, so I wouldn't know. Not as like a not not, not as like Neither a do any of us, YouTube. Yeah. This is for entertainment purposes only. I was reading that, and I didn't even know what it meant, because I don't think I've ever lost something on or in my body. Yeah, why didn't you ask me this other one? Uh, because you don't have fat rolls, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, I do. Uh -huh. I've gained like 30 pounds in the past oh, year. Okay. I used to look like Sam Hampton. <laughs> gotcha. I'm working my way up to a Connor Don right now. You used to, you used to look like a guy that hasn't been around for a while. We don't know where he's at. I can't find him. He had strep throat. He was at Apex last week. Oh, okay, cool. For the yeah. last Apex ale work. Yeah, uh, rest do in the peace. Oof. Apex. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't do the money sign, because that's... <laughs> yeah, they didn't hear <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> okay, whose turn right. is it to... I have to pick one of you. Uh, uh, we're going to go back uh, to Andrew, because we're going to force this. Give, it's, give it's, me one of those it's, personal it's, it's, questions. It's I'm not going to reach. Rotation. It's uncouth of me to reach in a fucking fur Oh, wait, because he asked you. Yeah. Uncouth. I'm not oh, sure Also, what that quick means. director's note, Andrew, if you could uh, 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 lean back more than you lean forward so that you don't eclipse Curtis in the shot, that's just so that when I'm making clips later, we're going to need to be able to see Curtis when he's... Curtis, I got a twofer for you. Okay. 
Get what ready. triggered the most surprising orgasm you ever a- have ever had? And <laughs> simultaneously, what would you like least like someone to discover on your phone or laptop? <laughs> <laughs> and is it child pornography? <laughs> it's definitely not child porn. Uh, okay, so for the first one, a surprising thing that made me orgasm? Yeah, the uh, most surprising. I don't know about an orgasm. I can tell you the most surprised I've ever been, like, been aroused. Uh, it was, I'm pretty sure it was my first boner. Um, we used to, at elementary school, we had tetherball poles, and we would race to see who could climb to the top the fastest. Okay. And I was pretty good at climbing the tetherball pole with some speed. And it had, I had done it a couple of times, so the pole was warm. Yeah. And I went in for, like, my fifth climb at a speedy rate, and the the warm pull kind of, like, yeah. rubbed on my child cock as I kind of climbed to the top. <laughs> and I remember getting to the bottom and being like, whoa, that kind of felt, that kind of, <laughs> like, that was kind of ruled a little bit. And uh, I didn't really know what was happening. So that was, like, the most surprise. So eight climbs later. Yeah, yeah. that's, like, wiggling for me, dude. Yeah, you yeah, were yeah. just climbing yeah. poles. I was climbing pole, climbing warm poles. And, uh, <laughs> pause. Episode title. And so yeah, that was pause, most, son. <laughs> that was the most surprise I've been. Because I don't know if I've ever been, I don't know if I've ever orgasmed, like, been like whoa what does that mean like, i mean it's like most of the time i'm orgasming either i'm touching myself or somebody else is touching my penis i i've never had a wet dream i've never had like a like a tantric ejaculation like without touch i have to yeah, be no, interacting either. with myself so i've never really been that surprised yeah really um what was the second one uh what would you least like someone to discover on your phone or laptop Buy my own sets, my own bombs <laughs> that I have recorded. Fair enough. Um, I don't. I don't have a lot of things that I'm ashamed of. That's because I delete it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's probably my own sets that I have like archived that yeah. I don't want anybody to watch for sure. That's hilarious. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Or yeah. Or <laughs> unedited versions of my podcast. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah. Full on, like, on, Shout on, out Rip City. Yeah. Shout out Rip City. Check it out. Spotify and YouTube. True. That oh, is yeah. that is where we're located. Okay, Taylor, is it your turn to draw? Uh, it's yeah, it's because yeah. you said go. This I established way. the That's order. That's what I was trying to do. And then he pulled a card and then asked you, which, oh, okay. which forced the rotation back to the fucking. Okay, so I'm asking. I'm, ask I'm trying to ask you now. Questions. I think I'm going to draw and ask Andrew. <laughs> okay, and I'll skip my turn so that I can force this force my autistic so need for anybody a, else here. A, a wild a, Joel Paul. It was still a bid for control. He said he would just come in Kramer style. I know, but I could have. If there was a knock at the door, come in. They can hear. It's Kramer style. That's going to be funny if you said Cops Kramer style, coming. but he's never watched Seinfeld. So he thinks that Kramer's like a big <laughs> knocker. <laughs> <laughs> he was thinking <laughs> Big Bang Theory. Yeah. He, was, he, he meant Sheldon. Um. Okay, so is that his chair or do I have to move? <laughs> no, that's going to be his chair. Okay. Yeah, we, no, had we, to... we had you sit down where you would have to move. Okay. Uh, Yonki, are some human lives worth more than others? 100%. A oh oh 100%, dude. Um, I believe in a merit-based system, dude. Some people don't What's, contribute shit. When you say contribute, what is what along what lines are you are, are can you can you push your status in a direction? Dude, some people are just fucking making traffic. You know what I mean? <laughs> some people are just in the way. Am I allowed to also inquire? Oh yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so if con- contributing is like what you assign uh, worth to people, like if a if a person is born with like a debilitating. <laughs> Like if they're if somebody's brain is a vegetable, do, are they worth less because they don't contribute? Um, it depends on how much space they take up, honestly. So a fat <laughs> retarded person, <laughs> yeah, a, dude. A two seats on an American Airlines business class. You only have to pay for one on Southwest, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, <Shout out> Southwest. <laughs> Come on the show. Yeah, man. Um, I don't know. Uh, what I what I mean when I say contribute is like, are you actively like living a good life do you make life worth living to other people is your why is your life worth living i know a lot of worthless individuals they hate their own lives Uh, yeah dude so those lives are worth less than people who have like loving families they're just worth less exactly okay okay i see that I mean, I don't necessarily. <laughs> I see where you're coming Listen, from. Listen, they, uh, they talk in a funny accent, and <laughs> they live about eight deep in apartments <laughs> designed for one person. Okay. <laughs> okay, whose turn is it? Uh, okay, yeah, uh, Curtis, pick a card, ask me a question. Okay. Any card. I'm going to go yellow. Nice. I forgot what the yellow Personal means. Personal questions. What relatively common experience have you never had? Uh... 
public school. <laughs> okay. Oh. You were homeschooled? Yeah, I was homeschooled the whole really? way. Really? Dude, him and Phil yeah. Andrews both think... homeschooled. Totally opposite ends of the spectrum on that one as far as being well-adjusted. I would say both of you do not give off homeschool energy. A hundred percent. Yeah, it's it's you don't you don't. Now that vest does scream homeschool. It but... makes sense now. <laughs> it makes sense now. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Everything I'm like, I'm like going, through, going, going through every interaction yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had with you and. He's Phil like, Andrews. I never would have thought. Well, actually, <laughs> Phil Andrews is homeschooled too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Do you like live around here, or where you are you from? Where are you from? You know where Paola, Kansas is. Yeah, I know where That's Paola's. where I grew up. Okay. I, 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 I was in KCK till I was seven. Then my next door neighbor got shot. My parents were like, "This is not a place to raise Argentine. children." Argentine. We went to Paola until I was like seventeen, and then I went did to college. Have, and I've been in Jackson County. Did you like? Uh, did your parents try and like protect you? Did that have something to do with them homeschooling you? Uh, or no? It was mostly no. It was it was mostly just my mom was looking at the school systems whenever we were moving whenever, and she was like, "I can do better than this." They didn't want Taylor telling all the kids at school that they shot their neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. That, it might have had something to do with it. Um, <laughs> were you jealous of kids that went that got to go to school or no? Um, not really. Okay. I got to play a lot of video games. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's respectable. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, Phil Andrews, too. I didn't know that about him. Yeah. Good maybe, friend of the show. Maybe that's why he's constantly using an inside voice. <laughs> <laughs> Explains no all recess. the grilled cheeses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, is it my turn to... It's your turn to be asked a question. Who would you like to ask okay. you a question? Uh, Yonki, sure. You there reached it is. for it. You really wanted it. I just... I don't Yonky get this order thing. Yonki just hates the asshole game. <laughs> yeah. Once. I do. Really? <laughs> I think those are have been better so far than the. I like them. What was what were you doing the last time you felt pathetic? <laughs> uh, talking to a girl, probably for sure. It always is. Yeah. When you have that realization, you're like, oh, that person doesn't value me really at all. And I've been trying. <laughs> I've been trying. I've been trying so hard to gain your approval, and I like send it to, and I'm just like, holy fuck, what are you doing right now? That's definitely what it was. That's hilarious. I have I have pretty good, uh, like, I conduct myself in a way that I don't. Thing. I don't. I don't feel like pretty like pessimistic about my own life. But I'm then pretty, he finds himself proposing, and, and I'm pretty. And just, yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> I'm pretty con like I, most things I do. I'm not like, well, you fucking so that, like. I'll have bouts of that, but most of the time when I felt pathetic, it's for sure has to do with uh, interactions with a woman. I'm trying. He's to under court. a table. Yeah. Yeah. Do you simp often? Oh, I'm a simp. That's why I'm a simp. <laughs> yeah. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a born simp. Card and, carrying. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's a problem in my life for sure. You ever just like fuck hoes? <laughs> nope. Not really. Damn. Yeah. You go to strip clubs, Curtis? <laughs> no, I've, I've never been to a strip club. Neither have I. Do you want to go? Not particularly. Right? Let's go. Why? Let's do it. What's the What's the appeal of it? It's fucking pitch, fun. Pitch a strip also, club to us also, pretty quick, Andrew. I feel like Dude, it's not seconds. that hard. I don't Titties, have... ass, sometimes bare vagina. <laughs> like... Uh, bear, like the animal? <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, also, I don't have, like, I'm not against the idea of a strip club. I think you could have a good time going there, but also I don't have money to spend. So if I went to a strip club with no money to give, I would feel pathetic. I'd Dude, feel like, how oh, much I'm money do you to... think you need to have a good time in the strip club? Two hundred dollars. Okay, you're not really wrong. <laughs> exactly. But I'm dude, not, you could go I, with 100 and have an all right time. Here's the thing. You if could I, get a dance. You could tip a girl. Yeah, but he you wants got to the cover feel charge. Like he's you can get a couple a drinks. He's a good guest, right? He doesn't, he, he doesn't want to like, do yeah, the bare minimum. He don't wants to be a, 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 a respectable uh, a, a patron yes. of the establishment. That and I knew, I know as soon as I get home, I'm going to think about all the things I could have done with the $100. And I'm going to like, uh, and I'm gonna be like, I can look at titties on the internet. And, and, and at home, I'm allowed to jerk off. I can't jerk off in the strip club. Also Dude, true. They'll tackle it, me. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do tackle, tackle you. you. That's why I'm legally not allowed to say I've ever been in a strip club. I can't, I can't talk about it anymore. <laughs> Dude, Tom Thompson got kicked out of the strip vagina. club. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Thompson got kicked out? Yeah, of Benita Flats, which is like... <laughs> is it Benita Flaps or Flats? Like flats. flats. Okay, I can hear you. It's uh, it's right across the street from Tango's, which is the uh, the superior of those two strip joints. Do you know that as a client or as a? Uh... Um, as yeah, as a client and as a business partner. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Are you public about your business? Your yeah, I uh, oh, okay. I sell stripper clothes. I, um, I didn't want to say. But... My uh, my girlfriend owns a company, uh, Support Black Business. First of all, if you're a stripper um, who's in need of some uh, uh, apparel, yeah, uh, any follow dance wear, one thousand grams of cocaine wear. on Instagram, reach out. A hundred percent. Anumi A N U M E I dot C O on Instagram. There it is. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, tap in, get get some fucking outfits, make some more money. Also, like, because I'm such a natural simp, like I feel like, like the idea of the cool guy in the strip Dude, club that's was why like, I want to take you. I think like, that would be hilarious. I would be like, are you terrified would... of becoming the guy who's dating a stripper? Like the trope on like a sitcom where it's like, oh, that's, that's your girlfriend now. No, well, <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be like, hey, come under the dining room table. I'm gonna propose. I'm, I don't. I might propose to <laughs> They're the used to it. They're yeah. used to it, dude. I'm gonna tell He's a stripper. Like, Let me Batman. take you away from all this, dude. Dude, dude go seriously. During day shift. Go during day shift with like a hundred and forty dollars. They will treat you like you're fucking Trey songs or something that's the thing i'm they're gonna tell me their real name i'm gonna be like you don't have to do this anymore come I, you can live in my parents house with me they'll believe you they'll yeah. believe that you're george why Clooney's don't you just do that <laughs> let's go Doesn't tonight that sound <laughs> <bad>? <laughs> no i get paid in two weeks let's <laughs> dude, let's, let's go in austin dude, dude. <laughs> yeah dude we never have to see anybody again oh, oh my god I, yeah <laughs> Dude, let's fucking go. If it's Austin, there's going to be 13 of us. To dude, to even if we all have ten dollars, dude, <laughs> collectively we make one in. decent. We're customer. all pitching in for Curtis's time. At I'll the buy you a club. dance. I'll buy you a dance in Austin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. This thing, I'm like, hey, I'd love to take you back to our Airbnb, but there's 13 open micers <laughs> at it, so <laughs> I can't. Uh... <laughs> yeah, she's be walking through like a tenement house. She's like, "Which room's yours?" I'm like, "I don't know." I didn't... <laughs> Stepping over Dane on an air mattress. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Who do you want to ask you a question, Andrew? Curtis. Right. <laughs> you don't like these ones, correct? I'm not a fan. Okay, I'll pick this one. Here. I've done the what podcast nice enough time. Uh... <laughs> okay, what of other players? Uh, what of other players would you most like to switch lives with and why? Or what happened to you the last time you accidentally peed a little? Um, the last time I peed a little, dude, I got in so much trouble because I was sleeping next to my girlfriend at Shit. the time. <laughs> and uh, Humble brag. Yeah, That's dude. why I don't have a girlfriend. I go, I'm going to be next to you and I know it. <laughs> dude, break. it does happen. It happened a couple times. I'm like, I'll replace the mattress. <laughs> Like, I know it's bright yellow right now, <laughs> and it smells, but... Is one pissing the bed enough to change a mattress? Because I know that... Oh, you, I know this that was I've not the first soiled incident. a couple mattresses, and I've never th <laughs> once thought, like, hey, let's get rid of this thing. <laughs> it's, it's up. Time to change the sheets yeah i'm like i'm like i'm like i'm like i'll change the sheets by the time i get home it'll be dry from school so like that's yeah yeah no um i've never even once thought about replacing a mattress I, that's like things like that's like what bezos does he's like oh i'll replace my mattress last time i replaced a mattress it was because my ex took it with her when she moved out and i was like i need a bed it's not you that know? hard dude you don't, and they're though. fun to burn <laughs> if you don't dude, have mattresses bed burn for, <laughs> for so long yeah okay uh what about the other one? Do you not want to answer that one? Um, <laughs> what would I, I, I? Is is it just me? Am I illiterate or is it like I, I, they're written by what somebody. of the other player? Who what of, of the, fetal alcohol? Yeah, who syndrome. of the other players would you most like it's to not switch who of lives that, who with of and other. why? Yeah, who of? Yeah, who of? Who of other? It's not even who of the other player. Yeah, that's, why, of, that's, why, uh, that's why. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's why I struggled that's, reading it. I'm like, yeah. am I crazy right now? Nope. Um. I don't know. I think my life's pretty fucking cool. This extreme personal um, questions game is making me. I would have really liked like to fucking cool. host for Bobby Kelly, but uh, <laughs> no. Um, That's okay. I have a guest spot next weekend for Dulce Sloan. So. Oh, sick! Nice. Moving on well, up. Only thing I know of her is that she hosted a game show. Perfect. But cool. I'm, I'm glad to do it. Yeah. Also, she's doing, I think, six shows, and I don't think you do six shows if you're not expecting yeah. to like sell it. No, you're selling. It. What what game show? Look at this production value. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Isn't it something? I tried to teach our producer how to use OBS, and his brain exploded. It'll do that the first, like, eight times, man. Well, I think when you grow up, like, on the internet yeah. and, like, playing games and watching yep. Twitch, and you're, yep. like, when you're, like, 12, you're, like, I want to be a streamer. You, I learned how to use OBS when I was, like, 13. Yeah. 
So I'm like, I take for granted how much I know about this shit, and then right. I try to teach it to somebody who's never. Well, it's like when it. you, yeah, it's like when you like uh, meet someone who like didn't grow up playing video games, mm-hmm. and you're like, why are you, why are you bad at video games? And like, you don't realize it's, yeah. it's literally because, it, let alone all of the context needed to understand like the HUD in a video game. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's a whole musical instrument that they never mm-hmm. learned to play yeah. <laughs> sitting in front of them, and you like, just take it, you take it for granted. Like, you play yeah. a new game and you get it within like you one know level. That, yeah. You know that your jump button is probably going to be over here, and if it's not, it's going to be there. Yeah, and 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 and, mm-hmm. and yeah. Yeah, I'm like the same thing with OBS because like OBS isn't that different than like uh, GarageBand really mm-hmm. or like anything like that. But if you don't know GarageBand, you're gonna be lost in OBS. Same, same thing with like, Adobe products. Yeah. It's like yeah. Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere mm-hmm. Pro. Yeah. I take for granted that I know those things. Curtis, were you good at Guitar Hero? <laughs> uh, I thought I was until like I could play. I had like one of the I had down <laughs> one of the songs on the hardest difficulty. But it was like one of the easiest songs in the game. Like once you got to like the higher level, I'm never. I was never like you know through the fire and flames, uh, dragon force. So like I also went to, uh, Guitar Hero is not a game that I can retain my skills at. Like if I don't, I'm not playing it every day. I'm not very good at it. But because mm. I, I remember going to Dave and Buster's and they had the Guitar Hero thing, and I was like, dude, I'll pick the highest difficulty. I used to play this on the Wii all the time, and I like couldn't even hit a single note. And I was like, oh, okay, I've lost all of my abilities. Damn. But I was like, I, I was never into it that much. But I could play like one of the easiest songs on the hardest difficulty. Also, I played it when I was a kid, so my hands were small, and the the orange note, the fifth one, mm-hmm. was pretty tough because like you, you gotta move like your this. hand. Yeah, yeah, you got four. No buttons, green and, and the, orange the fifth, at the same time. The yeah. fifth button. I mean, the orange. Yeah. I, my pinky wasn't. I was a kid, so my my hands weren't really dexterous enough to like hit. Do you play stringed instruments as an adult? Did not. Okay. I'm musically inept. Gotcha. I can't play anything. I okay. played the clarinet in the uh, in yeah. my band. <laughs> so did my and sister. So that is weirdly the instrument for like people that I don't know. Maybe I'm just racist or something. But that seems like the instrument that people play in school, and just never pick up another instrument. Well, ever reeds are again. tough. Reeds yeah. you don't. So, also, uh, I wanted to play clarinet in the band, and I told my mom because I was like. I, Everybody has their height, like sights set on cla- uh, saxophone. Gotcha. Nobody wants. Nobody wants to play the clarinet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a single person ever wants. You can't never convince me that anybody wants to play the clarinet. Everybody wants to play the saxophone. They don't let you play the saxophone. You got to play the clarinet first. I'm like, okay, okay I'm in it for the long haul. Oh yeah. I want to be Bill Clinton. <laughs> 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 I want to kill people. That, I mean, um, first black president. Yeah, exactly. And uh, wanted to my, party my, my in parents, Europe. My parents bought a clarinet off of Craigslist that was real fucked. Like okay. it was not in good condition at all. <laughs> And we took it to the music store and we're like, hey, can you repair this? And they're like, no. kind of. <laughs> like, we'll get it playable, but it's yeah. not going to be, like, good. And it smelled like cigarettes, too. Like, you get, like the case. And everything. Not in the good way. You brought it around and it was just like, and I didn't know, my friends, I, don't, I wasn't around anybody that smoked. I didn't okay. know what cigarettes smelled like. I just know it smelled old and weird. Yeah. And then I got old and I was like, oh, that was cigarettes. Yeah. Um, and then I got reeds for it. It's a reed instrument. And you have to, like, put the reed and attach it to the thing. Yeah. I didn't know that my reeds were broken. Oh, there no. was a crack in the middle. So I would play and I would squeak. Yeah. Which is what you do if you don't have good reed technique. Yeah. Like if you don't have good technique. Or you if squeak. your reed is broken. Or if your reed is broken. I didn't know it was broken. So I'd be at practice and I would not play because I Shit. knew I was going to squeak and I was so embarrassed. Yeah. And my like my band instructor called me out in front of everybody for not playing. And I was just like, I'm I'm going to squeak or whatever. Like, And, he, yeah. and then... I like he was like no you have to play play right play from right now I played like on the spot and I just started squeaking I was and I started like literally like crying Oof. and then he took me after the class and he's like oh dude your reed's broken and I was like too late I quit you embarrassed me in front of like all of the band I can't do this anymore valid so it wasn't my fault that I wasn't good but I quit after that yeah I took piano lessons for like a couple of years uh, I do really bad with like under pressure anxiety I would just start farting relentlessly Interesting. she would sit on the piano bench with this really old lady that we mm-hmm. knew. And uh, I would go over to her house for, and I like playing, and I don't like disappointing adults. So <laughs> that's like a real, like real okay. big. Yeah. One of my biggest, like I, like if I disappoint my parents, I'm gonna be, oh, I hate it so much. Okay. So she would just watch me play whenever I'd fuck up. I would like be like, my hands would start to sweat. I'd really clean my uh, hands, and yeah. I was like, I can't take this. And then like I would get so nervous that I would just like start like farting on the bench, <laughs> <and be> like she's <laughs> <laughs> like, sitting right next to me, and I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> so I quit that too. <laughs> I'm really opening up on this podcast. I had a drum track going. It was good, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, Curtis, you want to pick a card to ask me? Okay, what's what's this uh, one? Pink or romantic questions, green or intellectual, white or sad, <laughs> blue is controversial, yellow is personal. Can someone both be a kind person and also hold the exact opposite of your political views? Uh, political views. Yeah, theoretically, yeah, sure, yeah. 
Yeah, because it means they won't be racist. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good one. But, <laughs> no, but yeah. Yeah, okay. That what one's a better one. I would, I, I would agree. You're a pretty left I, guy. I, I'm, I'm pretty left. Right I'm, I'm pretty left, too. I would agree. Do you yeah. think I'm a kind of person? Yeah. Okay. As far as I've, I have, uh, yeah, I haven't spent a lot of time with you, but yeah. but, but yeah. you haven't given me any 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 reason to be suspicious yeah. of you. I'm not a person who leans left, so that's there you go. Proving yeah. your thing. Nice. I think, exactly. I, I think it's not about agreeing. I think people with nuance, I can I'm like. Oh, that's. I mean, also kind is a weird way to describe that. Yeah. If you've thought, yeah, if you have a reason for either way that you lean, then I trust you a lot more. Yeah. Because yeah. like, if you if it's clear to me that you're just uh, regurgitating things that somebody that you trust told you that you should think, then I don't trust you because like that's how we get Nazis. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> it's people that just trust the people that tell them what they should think, and then I didn't bring. My, you're I thinking didn't, through stuff. I didn't bring my mug. Listen, the right online. We've got Brett Cooper now. We've got Candace Owens. If you're still watching Crowder in 2024, that's a little gay, right? Like, that's, I only started watching him after think... the thing with his wife. I saw that and I was like, where do I subscribe? I know, something, I get, something I can get behind. He's you guys standing think up to the blonde. Steven Crowder calls his wife's pussy Clam <laughs> Crowder. Hey, uh, Shout out to Mike Holloway. Hey, you have nothing you can do for us here. You need to go. <laughs> You have no more time at this point. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Yonke, you're Somebody crazy. be Max and tell me I can come back on Tuesdays. I want to get Dustin Kaufman <laughs> and... Tell him to come yeah, back? dude. Oh, my God. I want to get Dustin Kaufman and Mike Holloway on the podcast. Jesus. Dude, get Michael time. Blank, Mike Holloway, and <laughs> Dustin <laughs> Kaufman Dustin. together. I'm telling him that it's going to be Dustin Slintz and Connor Don on the podcast with him, and that's how I get Kaufman in the chair. Yeah. But, <laughs> and then Blank and Holloway walk out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kaufman loves him some Connor Don. Yeah. I, hate that. <laughs> not, like, I would say if you want to get Kaufman on, say Dayton Bissett and like Aaron Scarborough. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like, isn't Dayton uh, York? He's like, yeah, it's it's a thing. He's on Zoom. Yeah. Yonke, what do you do? You want to? Yeah, give me it's one of your them. Turn, white oh, it's ones. your turn to be asked. Oh, it's my turn to be asked. Yeah. Okay, uh, Taylor, I want I want one right, of these four, ones. Okay. Come on. Okay, gotcha. Let's let's do a controversial card for you. Are you, are you scared to get down? You can get down. Was it too controversial? Uh, <laughs> no, this, it, it, was, it was too quick. Fucking moonwalking. Uh, I trust on you me. so much. I'll, I'll tell you what it was. And then, does no always really mean no? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's that's tough. Uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> if the no. person's not manipulative, then yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, Curtis, if you had to eliminate one million people from one ethnicity, what would it be? There's a right answer. Mm. One ethnicity, one million people. Yeah. Can I go um, with? Can I do, like, the pygmies? What are the people that haven't been contacted by civilization yet? The one with only a million people in it? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. They're not eradicate a million. Eradicate them. Damn. Yeah. Well, yeah, because they don't even know. They're not even a part of the world. Yeah, no one's really. going to come for you. Here's the problem. Yeah. If you pick Indians, which is the clear answer, True. I mean, one million's not even making a dent. Also, they have, like, at least one million, like, sexual harassment. Like, you could, like, <laughs> oh, you could, you could get rid of one million, like, terrible people. Yeah, if you've got, like, a Thanos gauntlet and you can say, and we're selecting for, yeah. Women. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, I didn't even think about India, and then you said it. I was thinking Sub-Saharan African first. And then... <laughs> For no reason in particular. Lesotho's never so you been don't really, lean never left, really you been say. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my first thought went to, like, the, the... I guess... I keep calling them pygmies. I don't know if they're actually pygmies. The people that have not been contacted by civilization yet. Gotcha. That, like, live on an island. They don't yeah. even know about anything else. Yeah. That's my first thought. Okay. Yeah. Puerto Ricans? <laughs> yeah. What if I was the only one? <laughs> the I only could Puerto use Rican. that to... Never mind. I changed my answer. You'd be the Puerto last Rican. Puerto Rican. We gotta go. go. <laughs> it's like the last Mohicans. Yeah. <laughs> the, last, the last Puerto Ricans. The last of the Ricans. Yeah. If, if there was a mass genocide against Puerto Ricans and they didn't know that it was my fault based off hypothetical, <laughs> I could use that card. I'd be like, dude, I'm the last Puerto Rican. Yeah. I would be like... <laughs> I would be like Conan. Like yeah, people yeah. would like praise me. Like, eh, look. And like then it. someone digs a clip of this podcast out, and they're like, "Wait, he 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 did it." I'd make sure I get rid of you with yeah. the Puerto Ricans. <laughs> <laughs> I go, you and Yankee. Everybody, everybody that has evidence of me snapping my fingers. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah no, they're gone. Fair enough, fair Dude, enough. I would never tell anybody. <laughs> dude, I'd hold that down. Who do you want? You could ask kill me? a million and two. You could kill two hey, million Puerto hey. Ricans, dude. I'd never tell. That means a lot, dude. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. If you committed genocide, I would tell a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't yet. True. <laughs> There's always time. 
There is always that. Okay. It's infinite, they say. No, they don't. They say it's actually retracting. They say it's not infinitely expanding, that it's actually getting smaller. Every day, every second, who every minute of that? every hour. Yeah, who said that, Andrew? I don't know, dude. There I was go. watching Rogan high as fuck. No, <laughs> that's the that's the universe ago. expanding, and then it's going to come back. But then the the, the Wait, if you keep back? going with that, yeah. they're saying it's going to come back. And so then it they think it's it like retracts. twice as old as they previously said. And then everything and it's comes down shrinking. to a single point, and then it's too much mass, and then it explodes out again. So like theoretically, the time is still infinite because it's a it's, it's also it's, if it's, it, right now we're observing it and it's still going out, right? Uh, I think we people can't... are arguing or something. It's slowing down. It's either slowing down or it's well, moving it, backwards. The universe now. is like 4.5 billion years old right now. Rogan. They, th yeah. they think it's like 28 billion years old now. Oh, it is? Oh, they've changed Depends it? on who you ask. Okay. Well, that means it's if it comes back at the same rate, then it's we got at least 4.5 billion to go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We're fine. <laughs> it's like yeah, when you're five years old and you, you find out the sun's going to expand and envelop the earth one day and you're like, yeah. are we getting ready? Yeah. <laughs> 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 thank what God are we I doing these, about this? Thank God my pajamas are flame retardant. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna need this when the sun explodes. Good, good. Okay, whose turn is it? Andrew, who do you want to ask you a question? You. Okay. Uh, listen, we're gonna. Ooh, romantic. Uh, Andrew, what percentage of your preferred age slash gender demographic would you be down to have sex with after roughly an hour of flirting? Can I read that? So we got a hundred. We got a hundred people. They're all within your uh, um, preferred age, age, gender demo. You get an hour of flirting with each of them. Out of a hundred, how many of them do you think you'd be down? Oh, I don't know, dude. I'm in a relationship right now. I don't want to get in trouble, but like <laughs> probably, I don't know. All right. So if we're grading on like a bell curve, like cool. honestly. You know, like, there's no such thing as a perfect 10. Average is a 5. I'm hitting 7s and up. So out of 100 people, probably, like, 30. 40 to 30 percent, yeah. I didn't know this was purely a mathematical <laughs> equation for you. <laughs> Interesting. I love how it has it's nothing the, to do with the contents of the flirting. He's, he's just going see, off. Of, like, if they're uh, bad, like, dude. That's how I tell you're confident, because I'm like, I'm like, man, if you gave me 100 people in a room... <laughs> I don't know if I can close for after an hour. <laughs> like, I don't He's know. worried about how what percentage yeah. would be willing to fuck exactly. him. Exactly, that's after that's an hour. That's how I took it. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. how, uh, how many of you are you taking under the table afterwards? <laughs> yeah. All of them. That's, how, that's, that's, my, that's my opener. Yeah. That's minute one into the hour of flirting is me going, hey, I love The you. hour of flirting takes place under the Minute yeah, yeah, 59 yeah, is threatening suicide. <laughs> I, go, <laughs> I, go, I go, hey, I'm Batman. Marry me. Uh, or I'll kill myself. What, and no, God, then we'll that's, into that's, that's what I go. I got, I, that's that's my two parter. I, that's my like opening statement. I go one. I'm Batman. Two. What are we? <laughs> Dude, be be grateful you didn't tell him some dumb shit like uh, if you're not married at forty, we can just get married because you're gonna be twenty five and there's gonna be fucking devalued chicks. Did you Come. have when you graduated high school? Do you have? I had girls in my uh, yearbook write like. If we're both not married at like thirty five, yeah, yeah. like we need to get married. Yeah. Oh, you you were homeschooled, so that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I had youth mom. group friends. Okay. <laughs> okay. I had okay. church youth group friends. They were packed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like it happened in a church. That's a real. That's a law. Listen, pack. Like, that's, yeah, that's, well, that's why it's a we God should. It's more because we all that. know we should be married by thirty. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of. I had a lot of like. I mean, I was habitually friend zoned my entire life, mm. so it was a pretty big insult to be like. Hey, if we're both 30, then I'll marry you. I'm like, fuck, yeah. I gotta wait 15 more. I'm mean, like, like, that sucks. Gotta wait till you fucking. Let me find out. If expire. I find out later in life that I'm as insufferable as you are, let's link up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The... yeah. Now all those girls have semicolon tattoos. It's fucking. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Septum piercings. Okay, is it my turn? Same thing. Uh, yeah. Andrew wait, 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 got asked last time. No, someone asked me a question. Uh, Andrew asked me a question. Can you pass me one of these good God ones? Damn it. Yeah, one of the good ones. Why are these the good ones? <laughs> what other two players are the sexiest, and why do you find them sexy? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, 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 Curtis is, is, is a fan of Batman and generally smart. Those are two strong things going in his favor. Generally. Also, I'm pretty sure he knows how to play chess. That's a, that's a big thing on the on the list. Everybody knows how to play chess here. I know how the pieces function. I'm not good at the game. What's your, yeah, what's your rating? I don't You're know. You're probably good. You're probably decent. I, I play with my dad. I don't play online, so I don't know. Yeah, okay. 
How much have you played with Tristan? Twenty four sixty. Uh, not a lot. Okay. I watched. I watch it more than I play. How quickly it. does he beat you? Oh, not quickly. Yeah, then you're good. Okay. Um, my, dad, my dad's you a, a great coat. Uh, you're, you're good with cats. Um, I thought the cat was wrapped around your neck for a second. I didn't. I, I don't know where the cat <laughs> stops and the jacket honestly, starts. Honestly, if I ever need pain meds, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of pain, <laughs> physical, emotional. <laughs> He's got meds for every, every type of pain. <laughs> All right, what is the most inappropriate experience you have had with a coworker? With a coworker. Yeah. Inappropriate experience that I've had with a coworker. Uh, 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 uh. That includes other open mic comedians. Oh, oh that changes things. <laughs> um Hey. Hello. That was not Kramer esque. We got Joel Paul in the house. His hands still have afterbirth on. I was just, just about to be talking about him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 not yet. Not yet. That was good. <laughs> Did with this. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> Joel it is. Paul joined the podcast, and the amount of knives just yeah. went up yeah. <laughs> exponentially. <laughs> the amount of reasons to carry a knife. <laughs> oh, the amount of the amount of reasons to carry a knife just went up. Yeah, it's actually crazy that there's been a Puerto Rican on this podcast for the last hour, and there's not been a knife. Yeah, yeah. 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 It took even been mentioned. The, it took the... Dude, the <laughs> amount of knives and automotive work in this apartment just went up four hundred percent. Oh yeah, how are your brakes, dude? Uh they work now. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Were your brakes not working? No, dude. I was down to like bare metal. Oh, okay. And I thought I could take my wife's car. And then she was like, I have shit to do. And I was like, well, looks like I'm doing car work today. <laughs> yeah. Brakes take, yeah, like you can, you can knock up. Is it a. Uh... We appreciate you doing that today. That's, that's, that's really great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't. I've, so... done, I've done brakes a couple of times because uh, my family, I live at. Is live Puerto Rican? Well, yeah. Uh... I live with my parents, but. Uh, so, and then we have a lot of cars in the driveway like people come and go to our house and every single time somebody needs the brakes done my dad's like can you do the brakes in your sister's car i'm like oh fuck so i've done the brakes like four times on this like just That's this great. year on like myriad cars my own my sister's my dad's i'm like oh fuck. dude i feel you are you trying to get the cat to talk into mike yonkey yeah <laughs> for who's your, yes for who's your favorite dictator <laughs> oh, dude. Good choice. That sounded like Stalin. <laughs> it was Mao. He, yeah, yeah, I was just about to say, he said it's Mao, dude. Uh, there's, there's not enough pussies on the podcast, so we had to get one more. She's a big. She goes. She she goes by body count. Okay, it's the it's the. That's why she's sitting on Yankee. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Who's uh. Joel, are you familiar with the, the, the format? Yeah, with, Joel, with the cards? Yeah, yeah, Joel, who do you want to ask you a question? These are new. Yeah, they are new. They're one of the new ones. What, they're what, slightly better. What are these? <laughs> extreme, uh, personal extreme personal questions, questions from uh, the okay. good folks at whoever made them. And yeah. Barnes & Noble. Distributor. Yeah, Barnes & Noble me, dude. Let's yeah. do that. Um, okay, cool. Let's, let's, let's. Boop, boop, boop. Um... What is the uh, what 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 body part of yours would you most like to enlarge, and which body part would you shrink? Oh, uh, I'd like to shrink my head and grow my dick. <laughs> nice. uh, that's my answer. <laughs> yeah. I was literally thinking I, that's my answer. Literally. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. That's not really personal. I'll let anybody I know, know yeah, that. It's, 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 <laughs> me and me and Yonke disagree about which game is superior. He he's a big fan of the extreme personal questions. I'm a big fan of Ask Hole, which you can get at askhole.io. He's a fucking uh, investor. Don't believe a word he says. He's a sales rep that, for Ask Hole. Is that what people say now when they invest in a Kickstarter? Like I'm an investor. It's like Ayala. yeah, you, you fucking pledged <laughs> yeah. five bucks on a Patreon. Hey Ella, we love you. Come on the podcast. Um, <laughs> Sorry, that, if that was legit, I just shit on it. No, yeah, all good. It's all good. No, I'm not actually an investor. Okay. I mean, I, I, I bought it. That's all. Okay. I'm a stakeholder. Because gotcha. like the state yeah. of the game affects my podcast. Gotcha. But, <laughs> but other than Sweet. that, yeah. Um, who do you want to ask you? I'll get Joel in here. He just, just yeah, Joel, in. pick a All card, right. any card, and, and uh, ask ask a question. Of, Curtis, your choice because you probably remember what, is the, what, what the is colors the white are. One? White ones are sad. Green. Okay. Am I supposed to answer this? Or no, or you ask it asking Curtis. Curtis. Okay. Curtis, uh, on a planet A, everyone's 30% dumber, 
and you're a genius by comparison. On planet B, everyone's 30% smarter, and you're an idiot by comparison. You stay the same. Which planet would you prefer to live on? Oh, for sure B. <laughs> I hate dealing with idiots. Yeah. I cannot stand, like... Just having to try and explain, like, that's the worst part because because I'm a genius, my natural inclination is I want to explain things to people. Yeah. And I'm just going to be explaining things to, like, idiots. I have, I'd much rather be the dumber one. I oh, like, yeah. I like being, I like learning. I like, yeah, you know, plus you can, yeah, plus you can learn. Think yeah. about how much yeah. better that world is if everybody in it is 30% smarter. smarter than yeah. yeah. I like that. I mean, 30% dumber, still probably super brilliant, but <laughs> I, <can't laughs> no, I, I have a hard time dealing with, stupidity on a regular basis so that would right. suck that every oh, single yeah. person is that's crazy similar. you do a podcast with connor don <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. what he's talking about yeah <laughs> yeah exactly can you imagine a genius that's... level connor don though dude he's actually there's, smart as fuck there's a reason why it was only an hour a week <laughs> because <laughs> it's and sometimes we don't reach an hour <laughs> no andrew who do you want to ask you a question uh, let's get Joel in there. Joel, you're going to be doing some heavy lifting. Okay. Pick up question. the slack. The what's, the, what's the blue, blue or controversial? Controversial. I'm not doing that with Yankee. Uh, let's go with sad. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, yes. Let's go. Fuck that. That's a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid no. of death? Why or why not? Nah. Why not? I don't think so. Um, <laughs> Andrew Yankee. <sighs> yeah, what's die. wrong with you? Yeah, like, for real, like... I don't know. I thought I was going to die much younger. Yeah. And so, like, everything that I've done now has just been icing on the cake. I definitely don't want to die, yeah. but I don't know that I fear it. Like, I don't walk around like, oh, fuck, I'm going to die. Why, like, do you, why do you think you were going to die young? I've, as a person, I've, I've never even considered, I don't think I'm going to consider death till I'm, like, 80. I put myself oh, in yeah. a lot of, like, crazy situations, you know? Yeah. I, like, here. I just saw, like, a lot of violence and a I saw, of like, yeah, dude, plenty of bear vaginas. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I was violent with him. And <laughs> he bit him, dude. And just no. <laughs> Oof is right. But yeah, like I uh, just the way I was living, I was living real fast, real young. You so said, I did, thought... did you like grow up in a circus or like? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, we actually probably have like a lot in common. I just rebelled. <laughs> I don't think uh... so. Just... <laughs> yes, clearly Puerto Rican yeah. Curtis. And then Andrew Yonke. Well, we've both we've go, both got military fathers. Okay. Both have um, incredibly like uh, like incredibly sharp comedy skills. We've got like humongo cocks. Like, uh huh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Comparisons yeah. might end there. You but... know so much about me. <laughs> I agree. You both play chess. But yeah, no, I'm, not I'm a now circus. afraid of death. I want to be more like you, Yonke. <laughs> yeah. Are Are you afraid of death? No. I mean, actually, no. actually, no. I am. Afraid. Why? What What uh, makes you fear death? Uh, I feel like I haven't done really shit. Okay. On Earth, and I yeah. think that because uh, you don't want to do you disappoint think you the will? adults in your life. No. Yeah. Seriously. No. Yeah. Li no yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. My, <laughs> do you think my, you okay, will? I come or from have a very tight knit family. Like I have the best parents yeah. on the planet, and I know if like. There's a reason why I've never even once contemplated suicide. I'm like, mm. I couldn't do that to my family. Like, yeah. I, my parent, like, disappointing my mom. Like, I'm just imagining, like, myself dying and what that would do to my mom. And I would be like, oh, I could never. I can't die. Interesting. I can't oh, do that to her. Yeah. yeah. Dude, That's I, deep. I don't think... I love my parents. I love my family. I don't, I don't want to leave. Oh, yeah. So. I, I've gotten to a point in my life where uh, I don't consider somebody a, an adult until they have, like, a serious suicide plan. <laughs> Really? That they're like that they're committed to. Taylor was an adult at six years old, so that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, I said that to I said that to Kyle Cumberland, and Kyle Cumberland was like, and what? Kyle, and then Kyle Cumberland came and talked about that conversation on this podcast. Really? <laughs> yeah, because oh, well, that card came up. Yeah, he got yeah. asked that question, and his first uh, 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 response was. You know, I had a conversation with Joel Paul last Saturday uh, at Murphs. Yeah, and it was. I'm, I'm a person who's not. Uh, Whatever the opposite of chronic depressive is, like yeah. I'm very, I'm very positive. Got a high base. That's positive. awesome, yeah. dude. Well, my dad's like, well, my dad's like the most mentally strong person I've ever met in my yeah, life, yeah. and I feel like I inherited that from him. But I'm not, never really been depressed. Ever. I mean, I've been sad for like a day or two, but then yeah. I get over it. But never been suicidal, anything dude, like that. Dude, I love that. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. Not to brag, but this is a fact. Yeah. I don't. I'm not necessarily suicidal, but I'm to a point where like. My line is like the girls, and if they like something happens mm -hmm. to them and they're not around, oh for sure. Like how you said about your parents, 
I have nobody left, man. I have no parents. I'm the top of my pyramid. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I lose those girls... It's, it's, a, big, it's a big base on the pyramid. Yeah. You're, you're the top. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very strong... Uh, <laughs> everything, all the blocks under me are supporting a lot. Okay? It's because you're yeah. fat, Joel. Yeah, I get it. Everybody go watch it. No, you, did you ever... Did you, you, you're a Dan Harmon fan. Did you ever watch the, the episode of Getting Dug With High where uh, uh, Sarah Silverman and Dan Harmon were both on an episode of Getting Dug With High that was done in front of a live Oh crowd, yeah, 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 and they do a human pyramid like three times during the episode. And oh, during Jesus. the first one, Dan ends up having to be on the top of the pyramid. Oh, Jesus. and 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 he's on top of uh, uh, like Doug Benson and Sarah Silverman. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's a good time. Man. Poor Sarah I would like Silverman. to be on top of Sarah Silverman. Nah. For the record. <laughs> uh, I would too. No, yeah. I, I have imagined like I've I've the only time I've like uh, really like been like suicide makes it like when I see people parents yeah. that things like happen to their kids or like their kids died. I'm like. Yeah. That person, like, there's no way they don't kill themselves, right? Like, that's, yeah. that must yeah. be so hard to go through. See, man, that's my thing. Like, even if I was handed the best shit, like, you could put me on the top of the Himalayas and be like, look how beautiful it is. And it's like, yeah, but I'm still fucking sad. I still like, can't breathe Yeah, it's right kind of cold yeah. up there. <laughs> yeah, like anything, you know, like. The, Not look for at, us. <laughs> look, look at Anthony Bourdain. They gave him all the best shit, and he was like, "Yeah, I've, I've had it all. What's going to make this better?" And his well, wife was like, "I'm going to fuck a minor." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and they was pay like, him two hundred grand. Dude. Yeah. But yeah, that man, that's sound. that's my line where I'm like, ah, yeah. not really suicidal. Uh, I'm like, I'm fucked that's up good. in the head, that's but I'm hear. not like depressive. Gotcha. Like I don't get like. Like I'm 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 down. I'm super. Mm -hmm. Like I don't get mopey and cryy. I just I get fucked up yeah. every once yeah. in a while. Yeah. And it's like, oh, what's that? And it's like, oh, it's my brain. Okay, cool. <laughs> I like to hear that. Like, because I'm not like a depressive or like don't have suicide. It makes it really hard to deal with people that are like that. I don't know what to yeah. do. I'm like, I don't, I've never been through that. I don't know how to help you. Oh, I yeah. I had like a real bad. Like one of the saddest days I've ever been. I used to. There's this Twitch streamer called Recful that I watch like every single day for yeah. like literally like six years and he committed suicide. he was like yep. the most oh, depressed yeah. like chronic depressed his I brother killed that. himself he killed himself and like when he was going through he would go through uh like therapy sessions like live on twitch with this guy named dr k watching that actually helped me like learn how to like be a good friend to a person who is i mean i was watching any dr k content gonna yeah. help you do that. Yeah. yeah i wasn't friends nice. with, i mean obviously i wasn't friends with this guy i didn't yeah. i've never spoken to him but like I felt like I was his friend because I watched him constantly. And then when he passed, like when he committed suicide, I was like fucking sad. But uh, that made me before that I didn't really understand depression at all because I didn't have it and I yeah. didn't under like I was like fucking get over it. And that's how, like probably my dad was. Yeah. Not and that's good that I wasn't depressed because if I had been, my dad was like fucking pussy. <laughs> uh, but uh, after he like that after Redfall committed suicide, then I was like that really opened my eyes. I'm like, oh okay, this is a yeah. real thing. Interesting. Maybe more open. Yeah. Nice. Expanding my worldview. Joel, who do you want to ask you a question? Uh, fuck it. Let's go with Curtis. I like Curtis. Curtis is doing good. I want to keep positive. What's yellow? Yellow is personal questions. I'll go. I'll go personal. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was like, let's be positive. Oh, yeah. Have you been loved enough, <laughs> Joel? <laughs> uh, uh, honestly, I think I've been loved too much, man. Ah, uh, and I don't mean that in a fucked up like. Like I've just gotten so much ass, but no, yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, in in my eyes, like I'm I'm working with house money, man. I've gotten nice. more than enough love, and now I'm like over the top with it, dude. So yeah, that makes you want to give back. Like, it makes yeah. you want to love more. Yeah, so that's good. Hell yeah. Personally, I'd like a little bit of love in here. In this <laughs> 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 Taylor's <spot. laughs> Could use some. Yeah, you know, plug your Instagram. Yeah, DM yeah. them, folks. Yeah. At, uh... <laughs> it's like the, it's like. Joel Paul is like one of those champagne towers where they pour the top one and then it overflows and then yeah. it catches it. I'm yeah. one of the lower tier glasses that if yeah, I could yeah. just get some of your... <laughs> yeah, dude. Let's, let's get some, some trickle down If economics. I could fuck your wife, that's true. Really <laughs> <dude. laughs> no, that's not, that's not how I interpret that question. Not with the baby in it. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> not now. You'd not probably now. be safe too while she's healing up though. <laughs> Nobody else no. is using it. Oh no, dude. Biologically really bad time to like that's the immediate time to be like you want irish twins that's how you get irish twins what are irish twins irish twins are uh your wife has a baby and then you fuck before the window of safety 
because right after you have a baby, you're just flooded with hormones. hormones oh yeah, and yeah. all that, and you're super fertile because mm-hmm. your body's like, let's keep doing this. I'm Puerto Rican. Yeah, I, you super, know. F- super fertile. Was my, <laughs> yeah, dude, he's yeah. got super a sister. Fertile is my years old, older, name. older yeah, than him. Dude. <laughs> Yeah, your sister pops out a baby. You got to lock her in a room, dude. She gets a spore. Another one's coming out. A spore. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, a uh, spore. Yeah, dude. You, you <laughs> in that window? That's like immediate baby time. So Irish twins are like, you have a baby. Oh, okay. Then immediately get pregnant, and you I don't can't know really why... tell the difference in the ages. Same calendar oh, okay. year, yeah. different wait, months. Wait, so Irish twins are just babies that are born close to each other, like in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like January yeah. and this October. This might be racist, but you said Irish twin. I was like, I've never heard of that mental illness. Yeah, what, is, no, what is that? I thought that was where it was going to be going. I thought too. it was, was like, like, no, it's a baby born with a lazy eye <laughs> and a yeah. drinking problem. I was like, I don't know. I was like, oh, there's more of a risk that, 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 yeah. that it's going to be developmentally <laughs> yeah. disabled if, yeah, you've, no, if you conceive apparently. right after you've given birth. And you get the, yeah. You nope. just get a baby that comes out and it's like, we're fucking Korean. He's like, oh, how are you doing? Top of the morning. That's, yeah. That's great. That's okay, great. whose turn is uh, it? Curtis, ask me a question. Okay. Let's go. Let's go personal again. Uh, what do you? What are your coping mechanisms for stress? Um, uh, fidgeting with slash destroying any small object I can reach for. Okay. I'll, 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 if I'm if I'm stressed, if if I've got like a pen, that pen's oh, getting okay. deconstructed, reconstructed. If I've got like. The candles, the, the, the candles at the comedy oh, club. Have you ever gotten like a um, fidget cube or something? Or like a like no. a no. <laughs> That's... I probably should, but 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 no. Okay. You just like because then I, I get the apart. fidget cube and then I get stressed and I start taking apart the fidget cube and putting it back together. <laughs> Dude, you're a meth head without the meth. Yeah, just, basically, yeah. basically. We should get you. I sold him a teener earlier. You should give He's... me an Adderall prescription. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, dude, I'd be so on top of that. <laughs> Were you like? Allowed to play with Legos? Yeah. Was so, I like, allowed to play with Legos? Know, some, Dude, yeah. Lego, Legos we were might an be the devil. Lego. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids weren't. No Disney movies, no <laughs> Legos. Okay. No Legos, that's building. That's for minorities. We don't that's do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We leave that. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Anybody else want to share their coping mechanisms? I'm a, I'm a TFT guy. I like to play video games. Oh. TFT? Hell yeah, mm-hmm. dude. Yonky, what's your coping mechanism? I uh, block it out and then uh, <laughs> lie a lot to uh, close people to me and uh, abuse substances. <laughs> you're yeah. an engineer. Ooh. <laughs> I play TFT. <laughs> you're an engineer? What does that mean? TFT. TFT means team fight tactics in my oh, I, I was thinking Team Fortress too. Oh no, T oh TFT, oh, yeah, no. Team Fight shit. Tactics is like a auto battler. Okay. Yeah, auto oh, shit. Gotcha, gotcha, Who gotcha, do you gotcha. main in Apex Legends? <laughs> Don't play Apex, unfortunately. In League of Legends I mained uh Lisa when I played jungle and Twisted Fate when I played mid. Interesting. You don't know what that means, but no. it's a thing. Got a sister that does tournaments. Who's in, question in League? Is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. She oh, eats cool. apples and bananas. <laughs> Uh, Curtis, who do you want to ask you a question? Uh, tell you can ask me a question. Okay. Let's do sad. sad. Dumbass. Since yeah. We got the least sad person. Oh, yeah, um, but we'll see. That one's not okay. What? What is, is it? What is uh, it? What's the most difficult thing that you've ever had to do? What's the most difficult thing you've ever had to do, Curtis? Uh, yeah. Right. That's. Um. <laughs> most difficult thing I've ever had to do. Uh, life's been pretty easy. Uh, probably like learning to like how to get over people for sure. Same thing, like relationship problems. Gotcha. Like learning how to dealing uh, with rejection. Dealing with the rejection. Uh, also like growing up for sure. Uh, <laughs> I was, I had a real um. When I graduated high school, like the transition from high school to college. Yeah. I was surrounded with a lot of people that were of the mindset like, oh, let's get away. We got to get out of this small town. It's funny. I grew up in okay. Not a small town. But they're like, <laughs> they're like kind of like Kansas. I, mean, I need to like fucking branch out. Like I want, yeah. I need to go explore and like go to college in a different state. I want to experience the world. I had like, I wanted to travel, but I was just like, Kansas rule. I love yeah. my city. I like, yeah. this is cool. So I didn't, that didn't resonate with me a lot. Uh, so I lost, con- or I, I, I didn't know how to deal with all of the people that I liked wanting to like flee essentially. 
And when they did, I had to like deal. Like I was like, oh, I don't have any friends. Yeah, this sucks. Oh shit. Or like a girlfriend or what? You know, like yeah. That and then uh, I grew up a little bit, and now I'm like, I want to move to New York. So it's not necessarily like oh, the yeah. greatest. Like, <laughs> uh, and like I said, I still think Kansas rules. It's just situationally, it would be best for me. Um, so growing up in that way, like learning how to like make be a person after like the people that you know have left after like nice. high school, high school, high school, college transition. I would say, yeah, probably the most difficult thing. I also think New York is the place to be for you, dude. Like, Thank you. They'll send you out. Like, if you went out to L.A., they'll be like, so, are you good with doing any other kind of Latinos? Like, <laughs> like let's hear your voice and yeah. <laughs> book, book you in a pilot and be like, your name's Eduardo, you know? Yeah, honestly, I mean, when you're Puerto Rican, it's kind of like being Jewish. They let you go back to Israel. Like, you can go yeah. back to the Bronx like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. for free. They buy you a, bu- a, gray- <laughs> yeah, they buy you a Greyhound yeah. bus ticket. <laughs> they they, they, they drop you off in the Bronx. Yeah, dude. They give you a switchblade and yeah. a bodega cat. <laughs> it's your yeah. birthright. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's Puerto Rican birthright, which right, is also funny. Time. Like, I'm only Puerto Rican to you guys because there are no other Puerto Ricans that like live in Kansas. I don't I'm even the least Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. <laughs> I'm the least Puerto Rican Puerto Rican person probably yeah. to have ever existed, but it does count, I guess. Who's next? I guess me. Uh, Curtis, why don't you ask me an extremely personal question? Oh, oh extremely personal. Yeah. Okay. Um, besides other people, what else do you enjoy having sex with? Pocket pussy. Top 10. Dude, if it... Really? My pocket pussy Is it good? vibrates. You got a heated and one, And right? No, I don't. No? But you got to get a I heated one, dude. THC change your life. infused lube. <laughs> Not and just I'll looking around for the that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this isn't my apartment. <laughs> no, he's not even mine. So yeah, you, don't you, have one you also have a heated pocket I pussy? I had a heated pocket pussy. I, she, listen, took the, she took that with the mattress? I don't like doing... <laughs> was, there, was, there was a hole cut in the mattress. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm too ADHD. I don't I don't clean I don't clean my bedroom. I don't wash dishes nearly as much as I should. Uh, I'm, I'm not a person pussy, to own dude. a pocket I don't pussy. Like you got it. Just going. And that's why I I, I, I decided I'm gonna stop using this before I because well, I was like because I was washing it, up, it but didn't I it? You, it didn't, did you watch I, it crust? It, it never got into bad you dirty shape. Dog. It, it never got into bad shape. But I just got so bummed out. It, it's the worst because like because you've talked about how like it, it, since you should wash it right away. Like it, it's in the post nut clarity. You're like what the fuck am I doing? To this object uh, oh, regularly, yeah. and it's while you're like maintaining it, so that you can, it, it just it's just a bummer. And I was like, I'm gonna this isn't worth it. I'm gonna just like <sighs> maintain dude. some Snapchat. Dude, streaks. you can borrow mine. I don't know. <laughs> you know, uh, what what are those ones that they got? Oh, they give out all the time. Flashlights, dude. Yeah, flashlights. Yeah. I destroyed a flashlight <laughs> one. Uh, <laughs> like destroyed. destroyed, like it was ruined. Uh, my I ex. You, I thought if you don't clean it, that's that's how we got frosted flakes. It ran out of battery, but oh, it was still vibrating. It's it even worse. Uh, my ex found it, and I didn't wash it from oh, no. before, and she opened it. And all of my cum had turned brown. <laughs> and it fell out onto and the floor. Do you think floor. the towels joke got started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, that happens. And that's Love after that she came back from the doctor, and she was like, "Did you give me an STD? Have you been cheating on me?" And it just turns out I was fucking a dirty flashlight. <laughs> And gave her uh, bacterial vaginosis. Fuck yeah, some BV. <laughs> did, you, did you have like dick hole B? Like, did the bacteria get in your dick hole from fucking it or no? No, uh, we're not affected. It was purely a passenger. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. That's like, cool, <laughs> dude. It was biology. It's not cool. <laughs> biology on our side again. Thank yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> I, uh, it is not cool. Let's get back to uh, Yankee microwaving weed lube to fuck a bomb. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. No, no, no. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, it's it's oh. the weed lube pocket pussy. But tell me if you guys think this is creepy. I work in property <laughs> management. Yes, and, that's uh, creepy. That's, listen, there was yes. there was some issues picking up trash recently at a complex nearby <laughs> because of the weather. Uh oh. And somebody threw away one of those like it's just the torso. Oh, it's God, got oh, like dude. the tits, yeah, yeah. no head. Those are way too small. <laughs> and by it's the got way. a pussy. And. Uh, a maintenance guy took I it. it up to <laughs> That's, I hold it up what? to her side. I'm like, nah. Is a maintenance guy found just, it in no, the trash. Yes. We'll get to it. Took it home and put it in his freezer where <laughs> his wife and kids <laughs> live. <laughs> And my girl thinks that he's like a serial killer. She's like, I swear to God, this is like he's, the craziest thing. Like, 
You What's he trying the... to do? Like freeze all the germs <laughs> off? No, yeah, of dude, it? Like, I bet he heard that thing. Like, if like, it's cold, he heard that thing. He's like, oh, just put your jeans in the freezer. You don't need to wash <laughs> yeah. them. He's like, that's probably the same with the pocket pussy. <laughs> De- definitely, with, it's a pocket body, dude. That's, that's, that's what I said. Shit. That's what I said. But women are creeped out by it, and I have no idea why a dismembered female oh, yeah. <laughs> that somebody has sex with being in a freezer it's because of the size would be of uncomfortable. The, it's because of the size of the replica torso. Oh, yeah. Those, the, the, they're shockingly small. All of these you've seen them. I, yeah, dude. I, I, I had well, a phase in my early 20s when I, I was out of the house and I, I, was, I was like trying to cycle through what's the what's the right uh, 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 like sex toy so that I can stop like you destroying like the, the lives of these women that I date ass. and I can just kind of like select out of the pool yeah. you know and, 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 and like but like these the, the, the replicant like yeah there's like oh it's either the ass and the thing or it's the tits that have the, the vagina and the yeah. set between the tits and it's just like this weird oh, like uh, 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 well, they're uh, clearly not modeled after an adult human exactly but that's what I'm saying like that's they're literally so the size of like it, 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 yeah 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 yeah, yeah. The it, forbidden it's just fruit, uncomfortable dude, you have to not think so about it sweet. too much because it literally is like the size of like a dismembered 12 year old dude, and like, have you guys seen the sex toys that are coming out of Japan <laughs> like they're fucking wild you man. mean the women or the no <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the war brides uh no like dude they'll have like fucking weird like here's a Here's a rubber latex sheep with tentacles coming out of it. Like it's fucking nuts. Do you have a link or? <laughs> oh, I, there's a video of it on link YouTube. in the description. Like it's YouTube. Speaking, I think they changed their policy. Speaking of link, dude, I made everybody super oh. uncomfortable at the comedy club the other night because I was showing them goth girl gets her ass killed then has anal funeral. Oh no no no! You showed that to me. I've showed that yeah. to you before, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. I love that video, dude. Where dude's fucking pull a goth up. chick in the ass and just keeps throwing dirt on. Dude, her. he throws <laughs> dirt on her head. After. They they. St- Stick a shovel, like a hand shovel, up her ass, and she has to, like, dig her own grave with her ass. (laughs) This dude with a small-ass dick is throwing dirt on her head. Dude. I was sorry about the dirt thing, but... (laughs) (laughs) Okay. uh, He slaps her with a Bible, and he keeps talking like he's her therapist. (laughs) He's like, this is your therapy. (laughs) (laughs) Let's go around the table. Uh, Would any of you have, like, one of the full-on, like, real dolls? The ones with heads... And opposable bodies, the ones that creepy guys get, and they're like, "This is the ones that like can talk." I'm not one of these guys, but like, let me defend them a little bit. Why is it creepier to have one with a face as opposed to one with just chopped off arms and legs? Like, what? The torso doesn't make you cooler than the I guy with the full body. Nope. The torso is just the perfect woman, right? Can't run away, Fucking... can't talk back. Like, I think. <laughs> I think neither all... can the one with the head. True, <laughs> yeah. you're not no, better than you... me. <laughs> <laughs> I think all of Did them are creepy. Did you take the trash but... out? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think all of them are creepy, but like, if I'm being honest with myself, if I could non-judgmentally like keep one of those things in my closet, and Mary would be like, "Yeah, it's fine," and it's like, "Yeah, I just when you're not here, these are the things." Like, if if we can't fuck, I'm gonna fuck this thing when you're not at home. How old are you, like, Joel? I'm 36. You're you're approaching the time where that could be like a reasonable question you ask her. Yeah, I mean, just make sure you get the heated one. Okay. My, the, here's the thing. I, the, the, the ones that vibrate go crazy. Forget the heat. Still got, don't the forget the heat. Is, here's here's is the thing. Key. It's got copper wire that goes through the tits. Oh, and it's like, yeah. They just look like veins. That's, from, uh, that's how I die. From, from, yeah, from <laughs> shorting out my real doll on my dick. <laughs> you get electrocuted <laughs> when she squirts. Yeah. You just find me covered in melted tits. Just like, oh my God. the way God With intended. With your hair still smoking. Uh, yeah. in, in, a, in a chrysalis of poon. Toes curled, <laughs> hair smoking. I, I like to get the ones that have the head. Yeah. I don't want to fuck. I just want to put my oh. fingers in its mouth. Dude, that's I kind of want to do that. It's hot. It's, it's like a dummy mouth. It's Fish hook them. Here's yep. the thing. I also kind of want to no, just be gentle. like, I, I want to like put my whole fist in its face just to see, what, see if I can. Like, <laughs> But yeah, no. Are you born in like the 1900s? Like the 1901? Like <laughs> no. Yeah, dude. I'm... I know some people may find this kind of sick, but I kind of like fucking them. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. I know Mary when like the creepy part isn't what's like, I'm like, that is shut it down. I'm like, no, I think she'll deal with that. But uh, the, what what I think shuts it down is I'm like how much like the financials of it. <laughs> like. Like she'll yeah. be like, "Fuck a rubber woman, all you want, but yeah. fifteen hundred dollars? What the fuck?" Yeah. Like, and that's for like the the base model. Yeah, that's yeah. for. 
I think the creepier part is, like, the creepy part of having those real dolls isn't the fucking the real doll. I think the creepy part to me is just having something that looks like a human in my closet. Yeah. You know? Do like, you think just, it's weird just... that I read to mine like it's a wife in a coma? <laughs> yeah. no, I saw I bring that it... Ryan Gosling movie. It was a good time. <laughs> I, br- I bring it flowers. You yeah. bought it flashcards. You're, tre- you're teaching yours to read. Yeah. <laughs> I, I give my sex doll a Rosetta Stone. Yeah. <laughs> She's it's bilingual. got a subscription to Duolingo. It's never yeah. too late. It's never too late. They say it's for kids. It's not. It's yeah. been disproven. <laughs> it's harder. I thought that was like debunked uh, recently. It's been debunked that it's like impossible. It is. Oh, okay. it's, it's and also like but, yeah, no, it's not like it's not like chemically harder. It's just that you have less free time. You know. Oh okay. Speaking of chemically harder, I took a dick pill about a week ago. Oh, Wait, did dude. you actually take a dick pill? No. Just oh, for the okay. beta no, What the fuck right? would I take a dick pill for for this podcast? I wonder if you've been stroking that blocking. cat, dude. That's if, like... if you guys want to take a gamble, I was watching the documentary on the rhino pills yeah. that they sell at gas stations. And like, there's what's a, a what's a rhino pill? A rhino pill is like, make you fuck like a rhino. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's that, and they I sell them at gas question. stations. I thought it was a pill that was sponsored by Echo. You know, I can't. Yeah, fucking yeah. I thought Ryan yeah, Tricky yeah. was like. I was really yeah. trying to you. Uh, <laughs> but literally, they, the entire last episode of Rip City can be watched in this episode. Dude, dude did I did I make did I make an Echo? Yeah, dude, I got the reference. I thought that was, like, cool. You should make Echo come back. It is actually coming back, dude. Oh, Lil like, Yachty just wore it in a music video, like, three months ago, dude. Oh, dude. That Echo shit is hard now, again. Everybody oh, go watch it. Echo, you like, Echo the brand. Hulu. Yeah. Joel, I, are you an Ed Hardy guy? No. No, 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 no. no uh, He's a Tommy Hill figure. He didn't need the he didn't need the fake tattoo sleeve. He's got the real ones. Yeah, I got the real ones. And yeah. also, yeah, no, dude, I shopped at the flea market. <laughs> like, I was buying... True. Bootleg, uh, Super like free. the remember when uh, double t shirts were a thing, the Fuck double yeah. collars and yeah. shit? I used to buy those, except they didn't have an actual shirt underneath them. They just sew another collar <laughs> here and another sleeve there. And yeah, I'd hood rat it up in that. That's a good time. I'd wear that and fucking a pair of Lokes. And were you the type of guy that to to like if you had a long sleeve shirt, you would bust your thumb through the seam and have like the thumb hole shirt? No, no, that's for some. <laughs> Some him listening do like the, the wolf mother dickheads. Hey. Also, <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you, you, you asked me if I freeze my jeans. Yeah. I don't because I can wash my jeans endlessly because I get all of my jeans at a thrift store. They've been washed yeah. seven hundred times. They, sure. they are, there's no there, that, there's a re- like you wear you wear like light wash yeah. jeans. I'm like yeah, that's only because they've been washed nine thousand. Yeah. They, they this started as like a dark wash. Yeah, like these a, used to like you wash your jeans. He's like yeah, cum stains yellow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, the, this Ralph Lauren denim has never seen the inside of a washing machine. That means he's wearing. We it's, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. Dick flavored pants, dude. Yeah, dude. Flavored dude, pants? they stink so bad, dude. Episode Take a whiff. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't. I don't want to. Whiff. I don't want to whiff you, <laughs> dude. Nobody wants to whiff him. That's why he's wearing the fur coat. Andrew's yeah. over there. It's just whiff city. Catches over there, the stink. You know? <laughs> yeah. okay, okay. Whiff city. Whiff city. Oh, dude, I love that. <laughs> I might make a off, <laughs> an offshoot of that. There you I, go. Because I think my podcast. Yeah, is you need dead, a new podcast, so. right? Yeah, Dude, yeah. Kyle Cumberland and Max Peterson are starting Shit City. Yeah, shit City. Oh, That's shit our, City. Our main yeah. adversary. Dude, we can have Riff City, Shit City, Whiff City. We have the like, whole rogues city. gallery of yeah. offshoot podcasts. Dick City. Blickety stickety City. Uh, who do you want to ask you a question, Joel? Uh, I'll have you ask me a question, man. Okay. Dealer's Let's choice. Go, go for go. one. Let's go. Um. What's the most controversial opinion you hold among your own social group? Is what the card wants to know. Mm. Oh, like about your own social group? Uh, or like within, yeah, yeah. How, w- which of your uh, uh, opinions is like least shared by the oh, rest of your least shared? Social God damn it. Group, your peers. Mm. What's How your... funny Yonki is. <laughs> Tasty. I, I had one. Pick another card okay. because I have no like real great That's controversial opinion. That's anything amazing. Uh, we've done that one so many times on the show. Yeah, dude, pick one of the ones that have not been done on the show. Fine, fine, we're gonna do a thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, idiot. Uh, listen, buddy. Uh, Tell me, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. We're back. What have you done that could have become a viral video if someone had recorded it? Oh, fuck. There's a lot of shit, man. Uh, I told you about how I jumped out of that third story window in my high school, and now they don't have (laughs) windows above the first floor in that area. Over in, you went to north. I went to west. 
You went Sh- to West. Shiner Mission West. I oh, think. I went. I went to North. Okay, uh, I've, been, I've been to North before. Yeah, there's a. They've added a whole bunch of shit to. Are it you the legend of the it. North Crater? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no way. They have a plaque out there. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, but no, there's a uh, old part of the school that they, they had three floors on, and uh, I was walking through the halls because i'd never stayed in class i'd just go and be like i'm fucking leaving they'd be like you need a planner i'd be like i lost that like the second day i was here eat shit <laughs> and i'd walk out and i just like randomly go into other classrooms while i was passing a class that didn't have a teacher in it and the, i just heard these kids go like there's no screen in this window somebody should jump out and i went okay and i just like walk into this class and like literally my feet are out the window and I'm getting ready to go and the teacher like walks in the door. She goes and all I hear is like, Oh fuck no and, and I'm just out the window like Wait, so, wait, so you, you didn't, like, fly out the window. You did, like, the thing they tell you to, like, do safely when you're getting off the back of a bus. Like, <laughs> you're, like, sit down no, and no, then, no. like, plop down. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a window that only opened this much mm-hmm. and it's a countertop right there. So I had to, like... Unless he I couldn't gonna, dive out unless of it. Unless I was going to yeah. dive out of it head first. So he wasn't trying to do anything unsafe, Curtis. <laughs> he was trying to go viral. He also <laughs> needed to make sure he didn't get stuck. But, <laughs> yeah, no. For some reason, I thought you were going to bust through the glass. Well, like no. A, yeah. Like, if I didn't put my legs out and use those to, like, lurch off of the building, mm-hmm. like, I was going to just fall straight nah. in my head, like, <laughs> hit one of these like window ledges. Mm-hmm. So I did that and jumped out and fucking, like, spiked into the ground, like, Hit legs first, drove my ass straight into this dirt. Ooh, yeah. And then, but I was like fucking 17. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm fine. I'm going to live forever yeah. and got up. You didn't like crack your tailbone or anything on the ground? Or I not? mean, probably, dude. Look at me now. Like I limp <laughs> and <laughs> you've seen me walk around with a cane. Yeah. Uh, I need my hip replaced at 36. Not Surprise. great. But yeah, I got up and started to walk away and the teacher was like, fuck it, get back here. And I was just like, deuces. <laughs> and I walked off campus to go smoke cigarettes at a Mexican restaurant down the street. And uh, apparently, like, I made it. I stuck the landing. Apparently, there were a whole bunch of other kids after that, like right after that. Copycat criminals? Yeah, there were like copycat criminals that tried it and they did not stick the landing and got really hurt. So the school was like, we need to get rid of these windows ASAP. I'm having a hard time imagining that you were the most athletic person. <laughs> I wasn't from the, the Joel I know. <laughs> oh, dude, I used to be fucking like ripped, man. I nice. used to have like a fucking 24 inch waist and fucking exercise. Like, yeah, I used to be hot looking, and now I look like fucking this dumpy troll. It, it's it's the worst thing ever. I think, I I've, I think I, time I, is coming for you. I think I've said that yeah. same exact sentence. I go, I used to look so cool and jacked, and now yeah. I look like this dumpy troll. I've sent that in a text to a girl, probably. Dude, I I so much rather have looked like eh my whole life instead of looking back at pictures and being like, God damn, like what happened? Yeah. You know, squandered I potential. I posted childhood photos of me yeah. to promote uh, Rich After Dark, the show that's tomorrow. I saw yeah. that. And uh, tune like, in. I got uh, somebody messaged me like the amount of messages that I got that were like, "What the fuck happened?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was just amazing? like, I was like, I-, I wish they would just never know that I was once a hot young boy, hot little piece of bass. Nice, but uh, yeah, not everybody knows. It's, oh, it's also, a real fall from grace. Also, there were triplets at our high school that thought we had killed their brother. <laughs> and- <laughs> And, Why uh, did they think that? Because Joel. one of them went missing. <laughs> <laughs> he was beaten to death with a blunt object, and we went around beating people with baseball bats. <laughs> and so they were like, "What? They beat our fucking?" <laughs> you went to North? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and uh, Ricky. It was a different time, Curtis. <laughs> yeah. And it turns out Ricky got caught. Like he tried to sell these like gangbangers like a fucking pound of gold medal flour. And they were like, Perfect. this is fucking flower. Because he was fucking 17 and trying to be like, I'm going to fucking be gangster and I'm going to rip them off. And they were fucking for real, no shit gangsters. And they're like, yeah. this isn't cocaine. And then they beat him to death. Wow. And we had to go tell, they were triplets. And we'd fuck around and be like, oh, the triplets. And then we'd be like, oh, the twins, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. that's, that's your starting comedy. That's, that's pretty funny. funny. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, I, 
I think the last time I was here or on while I was talking to Josh, I talked about w- the kid we hit with a car. Uh, <laughs> Because my friend Keith loved hitting Are people with cars. Are you on the run? Are you, do you have any warrants out or anything? Or? I don't think so. Okay, uh, cool. They always check, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, if I'm out past uh, like one in the morning and a cop sees me driving, it's immediate. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> on the way here, I was afraid I was going to be like a little bit later than I said. So I was, oh, yeah. I was going pretty fast and like... Uh, a cop like merged onto the highway. Like we, we were like yep. even, and I was like, "Ooh, okay, we're going back oh, down the street. We're going to slow down." Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, no, dude. If I'm out past one a.m. and a cop sees me, they light me up, and they're like, and then usually they'll come up to my car, and I'll have like an audio book going, and I'm like, "Hey, how's it going?" And I'll have my wallet out and shit already. Like, I I've, I've been through it. Uh, I used to just like never stop for the cops, uh, and that was amazing i'm not going to dominate this with all that but yeah my friend keith uh (laughs) my friend keith hit a kid with a car and uh he got real bitchy about it on purpose (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah oh well like actually like yeah like like, uh, like gta5 yeah we're we're trying to leave the parking lot north and it it was in a real thin piece of the roadway and this kid (laughs) yes and this kid in a parking lot (laughs) yeah Yeah. real thin piece of the parking lot and this kid well it was an alleyway of like they met us at the door and we got in the car kind of like and uh gotham city high school alleyways in the parking lot i was kind of hoping it was like a climate protester or something no No, it was a kid uh named ryan and uh Uh, ryan ryan's ryan was real dorky i agree with this (laughs) ryan was real dorky and being a real bitch that day and we were like get the fuck out of the way like we're trying to go smoke cigarettes and Keith was like, get the fuck out of the way or I'm going to hit you with my car. And then Ryan just flipped him off and Keith just went, okay, and went, and then fucking <laughs> Ryan went hood, windshield, roof, and then off. Did he crack the windshield? No. Not? Surprisingly, he just rolled. He like, he like Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Yeah. But he also, he hit him with a fucking like 92 Geo Metro. <laughs> so hatchback. So it's not like. It's an aerodynamic. So 92. So it was brand new when you were in high school? No, 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 no. <laughs> it was easily like 15 Hadn't even come years out old. Yet. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we were from the future. It's it was great. <laughs> uh, and then he got real fucking bitchy about it. Well, yeah, you fucking hit him with a car. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that doesn't give him the right to be bitchy about it. <laughs> yeah. I saw him the next day in the hall and he stopped, uh, he stopped me. He was like, dude. Look at what your fucking friend did. And he reaches in his backpack and he pulls out his history book. And his history book is V. Oh, that's okay. Like that. I hit me with a car and it broke my book. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Dude, he's lucky that book is so thick. And then, then his mom got real bitchy and started calling the SROs. But we were always in trouble with the SROs. That book probably so, saved his fucking spine. Yeah. Fuck him. Who cares? Yeah, he like, was a real bitch about it, dude. Why are you on his side? <laughs> also, don't fucking walk in the room roads dude don't flip people off if you're not prepared to be hit by a car there yeah exactly actions have consequences (laughs) there's a sidewalk don't be in an asshole funnily enough if you would have read that history book you would have known (laughs) 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 history is built on the blood and bones of people pedestrians who won't get the fuck out of the way of cars Uh, (laughs) but no his mom got real bitchy and was a cunt to the sro's and eventually they the sro's pulled us into the office and they're like joel keith uh, this lady, uh, like Ryan's mom's being a real cunt and they were like, she wants the footage from like the alleyway there of you hitting him. And, yeah. and they were like, but she's being a real bitch. And they hold up this videotape and just start pulling <laughs> videotape out of this video back they're, when cops did the right thing and they're they're, <laughs> like, they're all wearing body cams. They I like how you guys committed enough like crimes at your high school that it, like, it kind of was like, we're like the prisoners like friends with oh the yeah guards we, yeah, <laughs> like yeah no this this sro i used to bum him cigarettes all the time he was really cool man. and uh he's the real batman he's like he yeah. accidentally kills dude, harvey dent don't, and don't. james gordon's like no you didn't do you do want it. me to walk off this right now i'm the fucking real i'm the batman <laughs> yeah uh you, you don't know that's the worst thing you could have said we got like the pointing batman's meme now it's gonna be there's only one real one. they're all yeah it's yeah, right you're all imposters Robert Pattinson. Is, it's funny. You're, you're probably, your friend went full circle because 
early in his life, he hit a pedestrian, mm-hmm. and then he got enough DUIs that he had to become a pedestrian because his license got taken away. Actually, so it's kind of like a full. It's kind of like a snake eating its own tail. You either die yeah. a driver, or you <laughs> live long enough to see yeah. yourself become the pedestrian. <laughs> Actually, he's just a mailman. They just he went from one small. <laughs> they gave him a government vehicle. Yeah. yeah, he to went, another one where, with no seat belts. I'm yeah. picturing him as one of those uh, postmen that actually walk. Oh yeah. yeah, he got the one car that doesn't have a door, so he can dive out if he yeah. doesn't. <laughs> He's about to hit another guy. He's like, I wasn't here. <laughs> but also, Keith hit me with a car twice. So like, not. This guy's like, got a real problem. Oh yeah, he used to have a real problem or a talent. Uh, same dude. <laughs> Thought you weren't negative, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same dude. Two different cars, years apart. Like. <laughs> And so it was good he didn't do it like twice in a row. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's excessive. <laughs> that's excessive. Dude, it's a leap year. I'm allowed yeah. to. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Second one really sucked though, because it was one of the new uh Hondas. Uh not new, but it was it yeah, was a new Not t- new, it's a north, guys. It not was a uh, ninety four. <laughs> it was well, yeah, it was it was like a ninety four, and it's back when they were metal and fucking really oh, pointy yeah. on the front. Fucked my shins up real bad, dude. Oh, it sucked. God. Like a skateboard? <laughs> you talked about a Honda Civic hurting your shins. Oh, like no, like, like a it's a Razor flip. scooter. No, yeah, like, exactly. like I was, took my ankles out on that fucking Honda Civic. <laughs> yeah. I, I was facing him, and he hit me going like 30 oh, yeah, so miles an hour. I love stickman descriptions. Right, right into the shins, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. do it. Do it. What yeah, happened? Boom. <laughs> boom, right there. And then, boom, right into my shins. There we go. Dude, what happened next? <laughs> And then dude, I, then he was like, no, dude, my, I have a force me. field, so it doesn't oh. count, dude, when you... <laughs> oh, he hit me. I went up onto the hood, and I went, dude, you fucking hit me with a car, and he went, shut the fuck up, Wait, get in the car. Wait, you said that while still on top of the car? Yeah. Well, didn't... yeah, if a car hits Joel, that thing's not going to be drivable. <laughs> yeah. It's a 94 Honda. <laughs> yeah. I, dude, I, I was like 17. I weighed like 160 pounds. It's like that scene pounds. from Twilight where he fucking stops the car and there's a huge fucking dent. Yeah. Dude, it was amazing. I'm, I, I don't know if you know this, dude, but I'm the fucking it, shit. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, yeah. whose turn is it? Uh, it's my turn to be asked. Joel, ask me a question. Uh, let's go with this one. Let's go. How many times have you been hit by an automotive vehicle? Oh, yeah, three times. Uh, <laughs> who else playing this game would you most and least want to have butt sex with and why? <laughs> most and least. Or what were you doing the last time someone kicked you out of a bar? Never been kicked out of a bar. So, well, who uh, do you want yeah, to butt sex, I, dude? Most and least. I gotta verify dude, this. This is real a rich city fucking yeah. deep dive. That's it. That's <laughs> Best okay. three episodes. I, did Did you think I was making it up? I, I was like, I, I, I thought there was a possibility. No. Um, I just really <laughs> wanted. There's a Russian nasty city podcast. I thought you were making fun of the game. Um, oh God, let's see. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I think most probably Curtis, just because I think that he's going to be the most likely to care about. He's a gentle lover. For yeah, sure. people yeah. having it, everyone having a good time. Also, nothing's been um, in my ass. You get a virgin ass. Dude, least no, you're probably fucking him in the ass. Are you kidding me? <laughs> least probably oh, Yonki, fuck. just because he was talking earlier about how much puss he's destroyed. And yeah, like, dude, he's I got draw his some titties on joke. your back, dude. He's got his 77 See, joke. that's my opposite. Dude, he has weed uh, lube, though. What if he weed lubes your ass? I don't trust Andrew Yonki anywhere near my ass. <laughs> that's my thing. Is <laughs> Probably smart. First one, <laughs> Yonki has He's going to shove hips. balloons up in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be... Fuck you, Joel. <laughs> yeah, first of all, Yonki has girly hips. <laughs> And if anyone here is not going to have there's a hairy torque. ass crack, it's gonna going to be Yonki. No, my yeah. ass crack is hairy as you try, fuck. You try to fuck Yonki, you've got to dodge the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> you missed That's that better. one, Joel. It's okay. okay. <laughs> oh, you talking about having drugs in your butt? Yeah. Yeah, dude. We've all been there. Yeah, no, we haven't, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a thing you can say. You're like That's Kevin not... Hart on the roast of Donald Trump when, when, when Snoop Dogg was like, oh, we've all been smoking weed this That's whole time. That's way too many black people in one he's hosting And he's like, no, we weren't. I just want to make clear to the audience. That, that not all of us were smoking weed the whole time because it was still illegal. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> uh, okay, whose uh, turn is it? Uh, yours. yours. Who okay, you who's reading? Uh, Yankee, draw me one. Like one of... No. All right. Uh, what's the cheesiest pickup line someone has ever used on you? On me. I don't know if it was a pickup line. I, in... I said I peaked in fifth and sixth grade. There's this in sixth grade. There was this uh, light skin broad. Fuck yeah! Can you help me get these <laughs> so skates she, on? Yeah. No, she she. We were at school and 
she was a real mystery because she was one of those kids that like transferred to our school and then was like gone within like maybe like three months. Yeah. Like in sixth grade, like she like got kicked. I don't know what exactly happened, but she was like really into me. Uh, and she, she sang me, she made me a song. She was light skinned. She was like, nice. let's look a little Rihanna. Yeah. And, and she's in the, the song was like, Ooh, Curtis, you're so fine. I want to climb you like a vine is <laughs> what, I, what I remember the bar was. I don't, she's there was, fast. There was multiple. Fast as that little girl. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was multiple that lines. That's, fast. that's the one that I remember in the <laughs> probably be the cheesiest. <laughs> That's what pretty a, good. Oh, I was showing That's pretty Joey. nice. That's sick. I just got this apropos of nothing. Michael Keaton sent me this. Nice. I don't even. I think I that, even that has to do to... with the last what hypothetical. Is... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I want to know where his cameras are that he knows yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Oh, girl, is your daddy a pepper? Because I want jalapeno ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, okay. Who's, oh, who's Joel's is next to be asked. Joel, who do you want to ask Wait, your question? Did we just skip me? Did we? I thought that you were answering. Oh, no, you asked the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you want to ask your question, Andrew? Uh, Curtis, why don't you go ahead and ask me one of the questions? Girl, is your mama out? Because them tits are a hoot. <laughs> when have you felt the most awkward in bed? Um, Probably he was six uh, years old. in county jail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, uh, I fucked... While I was on a large amount of ketamine one time, and that didn't feel real. It felt like I was watching. Haven't we all <laughs> didn't feel real. I felt like I was watching myself fuck, like with like a sixty percent hard dick, it's and an just awkward, not, not feeling horrific. anything. <laughs> you ever accidentally cuck yourself? It was pretty awkward. I don't know. Yeah, dude. I felt I've like... done it intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> Many times. <laughs> Many times. <laughs> <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> accidentally <getting cooked laughs> okay. Is it Taylor? Or Joel. Joel. Oh, Joel. Okay. I'm going with Curtis. He's doing a he's real. He's killing it. He's yeah. Doing a good job. Why don't you just keep these questions coming, baby? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. What have you done while thrill seeking that you later regretted? Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, Which this jumping out a... of a third-story window, getting hit by a car—that was just to get from point A to B faster. Yeah. This one actually does involve jumping out of a third-story window too. Uh, <laughs> Are you like the night crawler? We, like, asked, him many, many, we, we <laughs> asked him how many times he'd been hit by a car. We should have been asking how many windows he's jumped oh, dude, out of. I use yeah, that's how I fucked my body up real bad. Is I I used to just jump out of windows. I jump out of cars. Uh, I jump off of roofs and shit. Like I said, dude, Jack. That guy's fucked my generation up. Dude, he didn't think he was Kramer. He thought he was SWAT. He's <laughs> like repelling off buildings coming in through windows. I didn't think I'd live to be this old, dude. So I was like, I, I'll yeah, be dead. I wouldn't either if I was constantly jumping <laughs> off of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no. Um, you ever try a high dive? Or like, <laughs> did I ever try a high dive? Yeah, I've done that a bunch. Uh, I, I hit swimming pools. Uh <laughs> <laughs> he hates watching too, all the dude. water rush out when he gets in. I, I just are, hate are, seeing. Were that. you just really jealous of the kids who had trampolines? And you're like, I'm gonna fucking one up you guys. <laughs> yeah. So check this out. Yeah. You think uh, peeing in the pool is bad? I used to work at a pool. Peeing on the trampoline is no. way worse. Top of the water slide, pissing down it. Dude. <laughs> Everybody who went down that slide. Have you ever tried to shit on piss. a trampoline? That's the best. <laughs> just shit on a trampoline. <laughs> it bounces then back up. Yeah. Everybody has to. <laughs> Dodge it. <laughs> I feel like people are going to be getting off the trampoline at the point that you're taking off the pants. No, no, no. Yeah, right? you, you shit first no, and you dude, hide it. You, you're on the wrong type of trampoline. No, <laughs> if you're in shorts, you can do a high jump and then scoot <laughs> your shorts and just like, wow, and I can't shoot shit one on out. command like that. Well, you gotta, you sit down and you wait for the shit to, no, to happen, right? Dude, I gotta like, jack you off first. I'm it's a like notoriously sh I'll have a shitter. Me, the shit starts to happen and then 30 seconds later it tells my brain. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. We gotta go. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, but you, you gotta make sure it's solid because then that's when it gets the bounce. Yeah, the liquid's no and good. Everybody <laughs> on the trampoline, yes. liquid's no good. Yes. Yeah. That's for the pool. Yeah. Uh, it's, like, it's like one of those. Dude, little, the hot tub. It's like one of those little, like, uh, <laughs> the little things that look like nerd clusters that you use to train your reaction time where you drop <laughs> yeah. it and like fucking yeah. like bounces Pop -pop. left and right. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, no, um, I've told this story at Mike before. Uh, I uh, I was really young. I was like 18. I got this job doing like out of town work 
Uh, it's the most vague thing I've ever <laughs> heard. No, no, no. This I just sound a lot it. like you were a hitman. <laughs> Yo, okay, so listen, Big Lou asked me to do a thing, and you can't say no. So it, was, I was it was like, called the fucking... Utah job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody it's September heard. September the 11th. I'm real good at knocking out walls at banks. They go, uh, they go what are your skill set? I, I was going to say women. Like, Joe, I got a job for you. What, what can you do? Women. And you're like, I can jump off things. And he's like, okay. Listen, I'm I'm not afraid to jump off of anything. <laughs> I've got a particular set of skills. <laughs> he lands like a flightless bird. Not hurt, but not exactly flying either. <laughs> I've Dude, had, just crushing women yeah. below him. <laughs> I've had so many concussions, you don't gotta worry about me snitching, because I won't remember none of this. <laughs> Uh, no, but I had this job where I was on the out of town crew counting Home Depots like as inventory, <laughs> and we go <laughs> wait wait this wait, 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 wait fraud scheme <laughs> counting wait, Home Depots wait like they like you pass the store and be like one or you like made a step inside the Home Depot and no like. A group of the most drug-addled, twelve like twelve drug-addled people, and one manager who thought we were all going to pass piss tests, <laughs> all went in, and they made us count everything inside oh, yeah. the Home Depot. Yeah, they have a uh, yeah, I know. like An every audit. single screw, yeah, all that. Audit, yeah. yeah. Yep. And uh Jesus I, I <laughs> driving was... past home depot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I dude. think that's the third one. Fuck it, Donnie, turn around. <laughs> dude, I, I used Joel to get... lost count again. I used to get in crazy trouble. what they had to do before Google Maps, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get in trouble because I'd sneak out and I'd go into the little sheds out front and close the doors and just smoke joints in there. <laughs> and then every once in a while there'd be a like a couple that's like, This is nice, and they'd open it up just to me like <laughs> red eyed. Yeah, all red eyed okay. and just like in a uniform like hey like, and they'd be like and close the door back on me and just be like like <laughs> act like i'm eating this sandwich I, like I, I think it's funny how much bodily harm joel could have like skirted if somebody would just let him smoke inside yeah. like, every, <laughs> single, every single time <laughs> yeah. every single time he flees a building dangerously yeah. it's to smoke something yeah <laughs> or because i was smoking something inside and now yeah. the cops are coming yeah. you were just born too early um, in a world before the electronic vapes man yeah. oh dude exactly. fucking no, they would have saved I, his knees. I was, I was born Not his too. Lungs. I was born too late. I I wanted to be Mad Men style, where you could smoke on planes and shit. I don't need one of these yeah. goddamn digital. Like, too bad he was 17 when they banned smoking on planes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! I'm not that old. God damn it! I just look fucked up. This I'm guy's younger than Michael Keaton, dude. Okay, yeah. <laughs> dude. My, <laughs> What it? Who was it? Michael Keaton who said his age like the other day, and 39. everybody was like, "Oh my God, you look like shit." Yeah, <laughs> dude, isn't Keith in his forties? Dude, Keith is in his forties. He looks great. Well, black yeah. don't crack. Yeah, a hundred percent. But it does that's gray. A, Exhibit that's a fact. A. <laughs> yeah. But it does gray. But it does gray. <laughs> And sure. then you start looking like some old shaman when that happens. It does roughen up occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like if Keith came out and he was like, hey, man, and he was like, I oh, sell Jesus. you all the curses. If yeah. somebody kneels on you on the asphalt for long enough, it yeah. just does something to the complexion. <laughs> Black, it's like, it's like, it doesn't crack, but like you reach a threshold after like 95 where it looks like a, like an old chili pepper. Yeah. <laughs> like a, ro a roasted pepper, you know? Yeah. yeah. Dehydrated. But, yeah. Back to this, I used to count Home Depots for this company, and I ended up going out to St. Louis. <laughs> Which is even funnier that he called that the out-of-town job. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have one of those things on your thing where you get like, a little keypad that hangs yeah. out your belt and you go... Doo -doo 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 yeah. Oh, that's so sick. That's yeah, cool. I fucked that up real bad. I want, to, uh, I want one of those to use as a fidget. But yeah, we go yeah. to like Oklahoma, Nebraska, St. Louis, shit like that, Illinois. Uh, uh yes but <laughs> destination city yeah fucking all the best mm -hmm. uh but one time i was out in st louis and like we picked up these chicks in springfield that were going to help us count the home depot and they had been married and so they decided like they were all just gonna fuck a dude on our crew and like one of them got me but also on this trip, you just sound like a secret Santa bin. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I didn't like. I didn't want this chick 
to want to fuck me, but she did. I've also uh, been making myself sorry to interrupt you, Joel, but I've been making myself mm-hmm. laugh thinking that your life is like a guy who's like in a completionist video game where he has to get all of the coins and the, there's one <laughs> coin that's like out the window yeah. in the middle of the air. And you're like, fuck, I gotta get I gotta jump out this window and get the coin. <laughs> uh but yeah, also on this trip, like I'd heard like one of our coworkers, which was this really gruff black dude named Jamie, and he had a voice. He sounded like Tom Waits. He sounded like me, but more fucked up. You know, he's like, "Hey, man, how's it going?" Yeah, oh. that's a pretty and, good Tom Waits. So yeah, no, <laughs> Tom Waits is like, it's "What's good he Jamie. doing in there? Yeah, what's he building in there?" <laughs> you know, uh, but no, Jamie. I heard Jamie had coke, and I'd been saving my per diem to buy drugs instead of food. So I was like. I went over to Jamie's room and knocked on the door, and I was like, hey, man, got 60 bucks. Hook me up. And he was like, all right, cool. I'll get you some weed. I was like, I don't want the weed. I was like, I want some Coke. And he was like, sure you want Coke? And I was like, yeah, Jamie, I'm sure I want Coke. He was like, okay. And he goes to the door, and he hands me a bag, and I'm like, cool. My room's right next door. I go in, and I go to cut up a line, and I pull out the bag, and that's why I noticed that Jamie has indeed sold me Coke, but it is crack cocaine. <laughs> and drug dealers do not take refunds or exchanges. Not typically. And so I'm sitting on sixty dollars worth of coke, and I'm 19 years old. I'm gonna smoke that crack. Uh. <laughs> you ever and then smoked you got crack, Curtis? And then you got really good at counting home depots. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I got really good at fucking this bitch. Uh, and then, <laughs> like, <laughs> what, yeah, me what, what, Dude, what bitch is that you asked? The one that was crack? also counting on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was, she was a prize for, uh, you know, southeastern Missouri. It was, uh, it was your, 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 your counting crew was like uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, where it's like yeah. the, the Cadillac <laughs> always be second yeah, prize is the, 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 the highest counter. The highest counter gets Betsy. Who's been, <laughs> Dude, you no. might know Betsy. You've been working with her for the past six weeks. <laughs> no, what was really happening is I was miscounting all the shit in a Home Depot shit. while while. While doing drugs and yeah. sticking it to a southeast Missouri three and a half. And then she got was that, like, Wait, wait. Southeast Missouri was her and then you were the three and a half? Or? No, 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 no. No, at this point in time, I he am was like, three and a half of her. At this point in time, I'm like a Kansas City seven and a half. I'm doing gotcha. pretty good. Gotcha. I was thinking inches, though. Yeah. Oh, no. It's always been like fucking four nice. or some. You know, That's a solid number. Four, I don't, that's what I, I say, four or some. I leave it up to, I leave, or something really leaves it up to here's the thing. chance. Uh, there's like so about many about six foot. There's so many guys out there that brag about their dicks in their line. And it's like, don't do that because eventually this chick's gonna see your dick. And no woman's above just walking out on a motherfucker. Like, what are you gonna do? Trap her? <laughs> I there are gonna plenty of women who are I too. I do have good a counter out. argument to this. My whole life I've been somebody who has openly yeah. uh, disgraced my own dick. And no, they never end up seeing it. <laughs> they, they, don't, they don't want to see it. When you, it turns out when you when you when you talk about how small your dick is, they don't actually want to see it. Here's the thing: so you never really get to the point where there just would be disappointment or not. Yeah, not I usually don't. when you corner them like that. Curtis. I feel like the yeah. two of you should start talking to the women that the two of you have. But you should switch which people you've been talking. Why would you to? ever say that? Oh, about dude, me? I don't <laughs> want to see. It. Curtis, do you need to get laid? Like I got, I'll get. Women. I it's, got women. It's less dude. of a need. I don't, <laughs> we'll get like, sixty dollars of cocaine. Do you want? Like, cause not a South, I can take you to a, a South bar and I can get you like dude, late Yeah, tonight. we're gonna do crack and listen, go to a strip club listen, and gotta, get you a Southwestern Missouri. Listen, three I gotta half. draw the line at human trafficking being arranged on my podcast. Hey, if anyone's <laughs> gonna do it, it's the man in. <laughs> Fur coat. He's like, you, you can't want girls, do it on Rich City. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's also where I draw the line. I definitely yeah, wasn't yeah. No. listening intently. No, no, no. Uh, but it's definitely better than anything that shows up at our clubs. You know, so. <laughs> Uh, like I love Maggie to death, but she she she's <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's the she's I know the top girl at, from the vine. <laughs> she's the top girl at the club right now, and she split her pants last week. And I think it's just because she's so white. She has a sharp ass. Uh, <laughs> that last part was actually a pretty good joke. That was, that was... He goes. Oh, it has to stay now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm, just, I'm trying to rationalize between my hatred of editing and and and, 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 and my <laughs> yeah, you you can edit out. Hey, dude, can, I don't like hey. editing this. I don't edit this podcast. I trim the beginning and I trim the end. That's what I tell everyone before they come on. Okay? Are Taylor and Ani fucking? Really? Uh, but, uh, who are hey. you, Josh Albert at Apex? Hey, also, but can you trim out the crack part because I, I forgot I have the fuck. crack part. <laughs> He's got a kid being delivered yeah, next week. Being delivered. I, it uh, won't whatever. be in the clips. Just <laughs> dub it over me. That story works the same <laughs> if, uh, if I'm telling I, it. I, I, won't be in the clips. Bar- I married and buried it up once. There it is. There it is. And it was only once, but <laughs> well, it was well, for four days. So... <laughs> You should have a. You should have the first. The first portion of the podcast. It's not. Nothing's blurred. Then it just like there's no cut. But all of a sudden there's a blur that appears over Joel, and like his voice deepens. And then after that story is done, the blur goes away, and the voice goes back to regular. But it's still Joel sitting in the chair. But we got rid of the story. It's fine. You know, it wasn't him. Hey, listen, no. <laughs> yeah, you just sound uh, like but, Tom Waits for the whole. Yeah, yeah. but no, uh, that was a great time. But then also. Like, I turned this chick sex crazy, and she started chasing me, and she'd show up at my rooms at these different hotels, okay. and she showed up one time. You ever time. turn a chick sex crazy, Curtis? Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> you know me. I have to get away. The <laughs> thing is, I don't think she, I don't think you turned her sex crazy. I think that she, she realized that for one of, to crack. she had two <laughs> options. She had two options. Keep counting at the Home Depot or have sex on crack. I think, I think you were the better of two oh, evils. Oh, but here's the thing. I didn't share it. It was just me in oh, a room. Oh, <laughs> That's even better. And she was like, I'm cool with this. I was like, good. Like that's interesting. But then uh the the girl I was seeing on that uh during that I, I I was fucking her again and the people who I was working with got a key to my room and they burst in with a video camera <laughs> while I was fucking this chick and they're like, Oh and then I was like, Well, you came into my room, I'm not stopping. And so they just filmed me fucking this Power chick. Power move. And you said it like that. And you Power thought you were so move. cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I was I'm too lazy and I didn't want to chase these ugly lesbians that were filming me fucking this chick. So they burst in my room. I'm like, boom, deuces. What's going on? Get a good look and then he points get... at the camera like he's yeah. Christian Bale in American yeah. Psycho. <laughs> and, and I was like, get the fuck out of my room. And then eventually, when I didn't stop, they got real weirded out and left. So yeah. is that video in the internet somewhere? <laughs> yeah, probably because they sent Link it the to my girlfriend. And, uh, and, le- and lesbians know the internet. Yeah, yeah, they <laughs> sent it. They sent it to that chick's husband, and then they sent it to my girlfriend. Oh shit! So and just completely exploded my MySpace. Uh, <laughs> like you go, I, I completely had to restructure my, my top eight. It was a fucking nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Like Tom didn't even want to be my friend, dude. It yeah. was horrible. Uh, I like how I, I see all these comedians, and I'm like, man, all of them look, look like they've done hard drugs. And I'm like, I'm hey. pro- that's probably just me. That's probably just me judging them. Mm-hmm. And then no, all of them have done hard drugs. It's just yeah. Hey, is crack a hard <laughs> drug? Yes. 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 I think is it's the consensus? definition of a hard drug. I think it's the shallow end of the, the hard drug ones. pool, but it, it, is it? I don't know. Anyway, I would argue. Crack? Haven't done crack. Okay. I would argue there's one Yaki. hard drug in each class. Drug you <laughs> Yaki, you've done crack. I have smoked crack. Yeah, see? Boom. Have you guys I mean, not that smoked crack? No. Like, no. even just a little bit? I've, Dude, uh, no. It's real easy to put down. <laughs> Dude, yeah, no. Pick it up, put it down. Yeah, it's super simple. Not only has Yaki smoked crack, he's. Not yeah. smoked crack. Put it in a balloon and <laughs> ate it. And then put with it the in intention of shitting it out and getting it out later. Uh, it was pills. He but. he wanted to send it on a ride, dude. Pills, dude. Pills. See, in a balloon. Yeah, but that seems like I don't know. They'd melt or some. I don't know. I'd be worried about the. It is worrisome. Yeah, I'd be worried about is the that, integrity of them. Yeah, you're pressing those pills, man. No, these were pharmaceutical. Yeah. Yeah, but everything else, I'm game. Like, eat that, poop it out, do whatever you want with it, dude. I, I, T-shirt, eat that, poop it out, do whatever you want with it. Yeah. That's the circle yeah. of life in Joel's world. <laughs> when, I'm not saying I don't do this anymore because I'm a straight Christian young man now. I'm I'm fully good. All right, Kyle, you're one of those things. But uh, uh, back in the day, like... Are you pe- born again? Uh, no, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're born again and your wife's pregnant? But, but all my friends, they put their drugs in their butt. And then they were like, why Why do you put your drugs in your butt? And they were like, I put drugs in my butt because the drugs are a whole lot smaller than the big black dicks that will go in my butt in prison. Because that's what will happen. 
you will get raped in prison and it's all going to be over because you weren't you were like it's gay to hide these drugs in my butt and i've never have you ever had had, had, a, che- had so, a cop check your butt that sentence you ever had that a squat like and the, cough son that's the most coherent thing i've ever heard a christian say that was like a run-on riddle like it started yeah. as like i thought it was going to be a saying like <laughs> I don't know, like the early bird gets the to worm. Recite, that's what you have to recite if you ever make eye contact with a goblin. To, to yeah, not, yeah. Like, you gotta go, have you ever done drugs in your butt? Well, because if you don't, then there's gonna be a black go and I'm like, what? <laughs> 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 it can't get real sing <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's etched into a tablet somewhere if in you, Missouri. <laughs> like, like, if you don't put drugs in your butt, bump. But, oh shit, my bad. Uh, no, but yeah, good. no, there's no implications in that or anything. You can't prosecute over that. I think the worst part of that story is you counting Home Depots. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, Home Depots. Like it was the worst job ever. Like everybody, like we, I was the least drug addled of the group, and it was me and Keith who hit people with cars. And Wait, Keith I, was there. Yeah, and because yeah. we all got each other jobs wherever, like one, one of us would get a job, and then we'd all infest it like <laughs> roaches. <laughs> and it's it's like the Zer- it's like the Zerg in StarCraft, and yeah. you, that girl was the queen. She was birthing yeah. all of the other. <laughs> it's a good reference. You guys get it. It is. I get it. Yeah, Andrew, you want to read me a question off that card? I sure do. Where were you the last time you woke up naked and confused? Uh, I was in Olathe, Kansas. The year was 20... It was spring break 2016. Yeah, tell us the story. It was at my girlfriend's that. parents' house. Who'd you wake up with? Her dad? Um, <laughs> yeah. That, no, that wouldn't no, have been. I, 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 no, it was. It was exactly how I got here. <laughs> no, it was. It was. It was. It was pretty boring. But I did. I. 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 I, I uh, it was spring break, and, and my girlfriend's parents were out of town. So she was like, "Oh, let's hang out at my parents' house." And, and, and nice. yeah, I hired a prostitute. And then the next morning, I wake up with no memory of the previous night, and. You did do crack, you little slimy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I found out that I had I I, I had chugged an an entire a, a full size mason jar of peach sn- schnapps, and uh, uh-huh. I did not regularly drink at the time, and I was eighteen years old. I don't know uh, if you know this, but peach schnapps doesn't regularly come in mason jars, dude. What no, the fuck it doesn't. Well, drink? it was in a bottle. And, oh, um, okay. and, and it got and transferred got to a mason a, jar. Yeah, it was it was it was it was like the, oh. you it was, got the mason was, jar here. There's about this much tequila, and then the rest up to the top of the jar with peach schnapps. Oh. You don't know too much about what was this like 2016 Olathe? No, it's a very chuggy house. There's mason jars yeah. everywhere. Everything's in a mason jar. <laughs> yeah. Originally it's true. came in a mason it's true. jar. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> there, there was a live laugh love Everything, right on the fucking yeah. banister. Everything was real. Kenny Chesney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There were there there were guitars on the wall that had never been played. Oh God. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, no, no, no. I woke up and 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 yeah, was 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 wearing uh, 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 a Spit pair out, of son. boxer briefs that weren't mine, and that that was it. And uh, that's yeah. disturbing. <laughs> yeah, I was in my girlfriend's bed. She wasn't in the bed because she had woken up before me because it was 11 a.m. I went out into the. Uh, I, I, I put on some sweatpants and went out in the living room to 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 find her her brother and her brother's fiance, uh, just hanging out. Oh, and I thought that was going to be way worse. Then I got filled in on uh, the, uh, the rest of that night. Um, what happened? It wasn't that bad. What What happened? Uh, me and my girlfriend got into her uh, uh, parents' liquor cabinet and drank it. Oh, okay. Together. Why'd you end up with another dude's, like, boxers on? Yeah, dude, make that make sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> No, just Andrew's face. Okay, I don't like no. that, dude. You know I don't play that gay shit, son. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It was, uh, uh, because my uh, girlfriend had felt that... Because we, me and my girlfriend are still drunk when they... So uh, uh, we got... We drank a liquor cabinet and then passed out together on the kitchen floor. Say your name. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> um... Same one from last week's episode's card that I was complaining about earlier, but uh, 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 no, uh, yeah, we had passed out on the kitchen floor. Her brother and her brother's fiance had gotten home at like two a.m. and found us. We had we had both just puked our guts out on the on the kitchen floor. They they woke us up allegedly, uh, uh, and we kind of stumbled into the bedroom. Um, and then my girlfriend uh, felt the need to to get both of us undressed before we went to bed, and then she dressed me in the morning in just that uh, she had stolen out of her brother's uh, bedroom. That was yeah, it was a, it was a strange time. It was a strange time for the rebellion in the, in, 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 in the year um, 2016 BBY. 
What what month in 2016 was this? Uh, what do you mean spring break? So like what April or whenever spring break is? Yankee lost a pair of boxers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he was just trying, Dude, to, he was I trying was... to put together the pieces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was breaking into houses. This is actually, this is actually putting memento. drugs in his butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah whole dude, pot, this check whole the residue like in that pair of underwear. <laughs> Could have find a balloon. Might be able to that. smoke yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, whose whose turn is it? Yours. Oh, it's be yours. Okay, uh, Yankee, you can go. Um. Oh, this one sucks. What could you say to the other players to embarrass yourself the most? Gay. Pick another one. <laughs> Dude, call something gay. I'm going to pick I'm another a, one. Like, I'm a, I don't get embarrassed by, like, I just Fair. say things. I've said so much worse things about myself on stage. What is the grossest thing you've ever found while doing laundry? Ooh. <laughs> laundry. Remember, they are Puerto Rican, so... <laughs> The grossest thing I've ever found while doing laundry. Uh, I don't know. Let me get it back. Huh? In case <laughs> Not, this one uh, nothing flops. really gross. I mean, I like I don't do other people's laundry, so Fair. and I have I've never had to go to a laundry, but I go to my own house, so it's like. Yeah. All right. What was when was the last time you regretted sending a nude picture to someone? Uh, I mean, maybe three months, four, f eh. Four months ago, what, what angle was it at? Did you do the the one from the from underneath? You get the the balls in there too. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> get the construction. Area I can say this. Bridge. I can say this publicly because I never I never had a relationship with this person, um, and Ooh. they were like a person from Tinder, and uh, I was messaging her, and this is gonna sound this is. <laughs> This is this a is safe place, Curtis. This is gonna sound so incriminating. Like this, this clearly sounds like she made this up. But I have, I want to say that I have definitive proof that she was not lying about this, which makes it she was less 14. funny. <laughs> was less funny. No, okay. we were like she. I, it was like I'm not a very forward person. Like I, I could be very sexual, but if the person like shows that they would be interested, I'm not the guy that's like very like sending out like unsolicited dick pics. That's not yeah, my, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. my game. But she she kept sexting me, so I was like, okay, I'll send her a picture of my penis or whatever. I'll I'll send her nude. I don't care. And uh, then there was a time that I was like, uh, she had said that she wanted me to come over, and then I was like, okay. And then she was like, but and then she explained this whole like medical condition with her vagina and how it's like like ovary infection, some real like weird. Oh, that was a test. That's the thing though. Like I. I knew I'd gotten her to know her well enough that I knew people around yeah. her, and I was just like, Ugh. it was basically I sent a picture of my penis, and I was like about to go have sex with the person. They're like, yeah, I have an infection. I'm like, oh no, that sounds like that I sounds have like an some infection, alien shit. and the only cure is a bigger cock than that. True, true. <laughs> oh, she was like, Jesus, I don't yeah. like your kind, and I was like, well, that's weird you say it like that, but, but uh, no, no, for no. real. That was I, I regretted saying my dick to her because I was like, oh, okay, well. Because she was sick, <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, she had three months left, and I was like, oh, no, Jesus. No, no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Sounds like the perfect amount of no, time. No, for no, no. It was just uh, nothing ever came of it. And I was like, okay, well, I sent you my penis for nothing. Oh. <laughs> Uh, were you making sure that like you didn't get the freckle in the in the you're, like, Oh no, the to... freckle is the it, freckle it, is you, the you can't piece. miss it. Trademark. You really okay, can't miss fair it. Enough, fair enough. If there's yeah. a picture of my penis, it's got the freckle in it. Oh, if there's yeah. not, so really... where, where's your freckle? Uh, it's tip of the penis right next to the dick hole. So it's, it looks like I have snake eyes. I got two two dick holes essentially. Yeah, for real? One, one, one's a freckle. Yeah, dude, oh, those dude. two stream no mornings must be a trip. No cap on. I I got a freckle on my dick, but I also have a scar on my dick. Of course Which you do. I you jump out of shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Uh, I'll show it to you if this you want. This is from jumping in something. I don't want to see your dick. Joe. Oh, no, no. It's from somebody trying to cut my dick off. Oh, dude. Show off. us. Really? Show the camera. No, please. Turn the camera please around. Don't. <laughs> please don't. We've, we've had a nice, wholesome podcast. Um, yeah. No, I, I, it's it's a fr on the very tip, like about two centimeters from the the hole yeah. itself. So it looks like I have You're two fucking with me, right? No, like, that's hundred percent true. So you have a googly eyed dick? There are some You shave your pubes? There are I love how I love how you like almost got Lorena bobbited, but then you're fascinated by a freckle. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you which ones, but there are comedians in Kansas City that, you have seen that you dick? could ask yes about the, the freckle on the tip of my penis. Uh, Dane no, O'Connor. No, 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 let's Dustin not Funs. let's not even it guess. Jay, it's Jay Petty. Let's not it's yeah, Jay it's Petty, Petty for sure. Fuck you guessed it. Yeah. Uh, tell me off camera. 
Because <laughs> I, I want to ask them about your weird uh, stick, stickly dick. <laughs> That's googly eyes. Blickety, stickety. Yeah. It's, yeah. No, it's it's unfortunate, but it's, it's a defining feature for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, Taylor, your turn. Wait, to, or, no, do you shave your pubes? Next. Yeah. Okay. I Everybody trim. at I don't, this I don't, table? I don't clean Is somebody shave, asking Yonki a question? Depends on the customer. Yeah. yeah. P- Joel, go ahead and ask answer. me a question. Joel can't read. He was too busy <laughs> jumping no, out no. of shit. <laughs> no, that, it, it was another butt one, and I'm not oh, okay. like... Oh, that we had that one earlier. Yeah. Another butt thing is going to send Joel into a 30-minute soliloquy <laughs> about... <laughs> okay. Getting uh, butt, <laughs> butt stuffed <laughs> in a Lowe's. Getting butt stuffed. I, I, could, I, could, I could ask you this, but I know we won't get the the most, cr- the most like, actual story the, out of this. Is this the criminal it. question? Yeah. Ooh. I mean, I was indicted for running a, a drug trafficking organization. Yeah, but who wants to hear about that? Nobody. Why did someone call you an <laughs> asshole the last time that happened? Um, I was lying. Uh, <laughs> somebody I love. Ah, okay, cool. cool. uh, yes. What, what, what's their name? Why'd you do it? <laughs> it's my girlfriend, because uh, I don't know how to communicate. <laughs> That's healthy of you to realize about yourself. Oh, no, it's just something I've been being yelled at for for the past <laughs> four days. <laughs> happened very recently you're a, you're, a, you're a dog that can't stop eating loaves of bread you I, know it's wrong you're like i don't know i just stopped sleeping off on the floor <laughs> back to lying <laughs> oh dude so rip ace dude do you think she killed your dog no like, that's her dog dude oh, yeah damn. dude she had him for like i knew i should have donated to that shit yeah dude you ah, should have <laughs> so rip ace for real i'll that's sad uh, to have, we'll a dead dog. have the GoFundMe in the description oh, very yeah. sad um, but also 13, man, 13 and a half. He a lived a good life dog. and he, it happened very fast, which is, you know, good. We didn't have to watch his health fail for very long. Yeah. So thank God. Yeah. Those fucking, those Jews hit him with a cancer gun. That's for sure. Rip baby boy. Fucking 13, man. God damn. Yeah. 15 grand's a lot to ask for, for a dog, dude. It's like, dude, MRIs are like six grand alone. I like, know, but it's like now. It's like fucking, it's like 15 grand, now he's dead. We all know Ace wanted to be buried in 2018 <laughs> Kia Soul. Like, <laughs> yeah, we, once, lowered once case, we lowered it, we just want 7,500 now, if you guys can yeah. help out. No, dude, I'm in a those... mountain of credit card debt because oh, vets are predatory God, and vets uh, are predatory. insurance companies what? deny all claims. Cause what vet did you scum. go to? Um... One of the mission vet? Yeah, that's we transferred him to there because they're the only God one with a neurologist, dude. and we thought it was a brain tumor. God damn, mm. dude. That, they are the most expensive, and they will charge you wherever the fuck they want. It's like want a thousand because, a night to hospitalize. Yeah, yeah. It's rough. Yeah, dude. God damn. I'm sorry you had to go through that, man. Hey, man. We're, we're, sucks. we're grooving. Mm. We're trying our best. I've got two new bits out of it. You. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. I was I was in a dry spell. I wasn't writing. <laughs> yeah, cha ching, dude. <laughs> Two new bits, fifteen grand. That's <laughs> yeah. So, Yankee can finally get into the crypto the way he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Ace, baby boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no. Rest in peace. Seriously. Rest in peace, Joel. It's your turn. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll ask yeah, him something. Let's go. Oh, I, like I, you tell me about one you're dead animals yeah, now. dude <laughs> talk about burying your cats <laughs> yeah dude it's sad <laughs> um what is the dumbest thing someone has said to you during or after sex uh um, it's so big <laughs> <laughs> no no i i have had that lie before where they're like it's so big uh no i love that i had a chick uh like try to convince me to have sex with her in like public places like she wanted me to go up I like that what's the weirdest place you fucked the graveyard behind my mom's house okay it's not bad That's... how about you curtis no i've never done it i've wanted to do it oh, oh dude you've never d- fucked in a public elementary place school ever? playground nope like an adult woman yeah okay because <laughs> I, I need say, to clarify that i will say at one time uh, I was driving a girlfriend home from a party. Yeah. Uh, cause I don't drink and she liked to drink because yeah. I was fine DDing for her. I was driving her home from a party and, uh, me and her, I like to do things in the car while I'm driving. With her. <laughs> oh, I thought you, so I was driving home from a party. It was like 2 AM. So there's nobody on the streets. Yeah. So I was like, just take off all of your clothes. And she, so she's in my passenger seat fully just naked. Did and you suggest her. this or did she just do it? 
No, like it was like a mutual. Th- it was a thing that we had he done. Like yeah. oh, okay. they knew. I thought you were they like they like locked the doors. No, 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 no. It was organic. Of the this, this, was, this was a it was an escalation of something that yeah. we'd previously done. And Don't then say we, escalation we, into. Okay, yeah, that's sense. you're right. It's the wrong word, but. Uh, so they we were in but an then, escalator, but then we were stopped at a stop sign, and my yeah. car is like it was like a sedan, it was low to the ground, yeah. and my and like people that also had left the party pulled up in a truck that was like raised up next to us and stopped at the stoplight, and they were like, "Hey!" and I was just like, "Oh no!" and then she like was like trying to like hide behind yeah. me so they couldn't see in, and it was pretty funny. Oh, oh dude, yeah. that was uh, the most public thing display of uh, anything. Yeah, I I had some like that happen one time. Uh, I, I had this like fuck buddy and she was super drunk and I we were both super drunk, but we had to get back it's to my little, house. Uh, and uh, we way were, to save yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, no, because it, it's bad because I'm about to sh- shit the bed on it too this way. Literally, uh, well, I've done that, but no, uh, I was, I was like, you heard his bit? well, she she was super drunk, but it's like I was super drunk too. But yeah. either way, we're driving to my house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we're driving down the highway, and she just takes her top off, full tits, in my, like... That's good that it's full. (laughs) She took her top off, half tits. (laughs) What the fuck? Three Three eight breast tits. Dude, I I dated a chick once that had to get one breast implant Mm. because she had a wonky titty. (laughs) Like, oh, my boy told me about a girl he knew like that. He called her Biggie Smalls. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually, that's like actually how D. he got his name. He yeah. Used, yeah. His mom he used to have wonky too. His, his mom, Mama Wonky. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, she got she took her shirt off and she knew that I kept my gun in my fucking glove box. So there's just a half naked chick with a gun. While I'm driving down the highway, so and I'm fucking trying, hot, and I'm trying to be like, put the gun, like you're going to fucking kill yourself. Like, <laughs> I like it when gun. they suck the gun. I like it when they, <laughs> dude, <laughs> that's so fucking. Hot. When they lick the sides, Yankees fish hooking <laughs> people, but it's with a gun. Dude, this was a chick where <laughs> he's like, find the balloon. She <laughs> was, <yeah. laughs> dude. Hunter Biden has like the best videos ever. He's just <laughs> holding guns to hookers' heads while they're blowing him. Like, what an awesome fucking life, oh, dude. I best told... videos. <laughs> <laughs> Almost I... as g- good as Goth Girl gets her ass killed and has anal funeral, <laughs> but not as good as what Vince McMahon's doing. I told you about that last I night, saw, dude. I that is so texts. funny, Vince McMahon. Man was fucking a chick with Johnny Ace, and then in the middle of it, he pulls out and walks over and shits on her head and back. <laughs> And Who's then the, Johnny Ace, dude, he's, he's that sounds texting like, her. That's jo- the, Johnny Ace sounds like when like Asian uh, like pop stars try to have know, like American uh, names. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> it's a Korean dude in Aviators. Yeah, it's well, Johnny, like, Ace. Johnny Ace. You, you, you know the Bella <laughs> Twins, right? Who? The Bella Twins. Oh, from WWE. Yeah. That, I, that, and the yeah. One. That's their dad. Okay. And fucking <laughs> the Bella Twins' dad would fuck chicks with John, with fucking Vince McMahon. Okay. And during this one, Vince McMahon like pulled out and then walked over and shit on her head and back. It's funny that he pulled out shower. and then had to walk somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's why I think it's a funny thing is he pulls out here and then walks around <laughs> And then just unloads on her. How long did you... Takes a shower and then, like, tells her, like, you stay covered in my shit. (laughs) And then comes back and fucks her for an hour and a half more. With the shit? While she's covered in shit. Dude, he's sending texts to these chicks. He's like, there will be cum all over your pussy, all over your tits. We will tie you up so that you're helpless. Me and ten guys. (laughs) Wait, they have records of the text? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I showed Yonki the text. What do you guys do when you're not, like, doing... (laughs) You guys just... Shit on chicks, mostly. (laughs) Yeah. A lot of Reddit. I eat a lot of fiber. Uh... I eat a lot of fiber. How do you find... I don't... Dude, yeah, so Vince McMahon... He'll he'll send these chicks texts and he'll be like, "I'm gonna get all these black guys to fuck you, <laughs> and then you're gonna be full of their cum." Dude, those are the best guys to fuck them too. <laughs> yeah. I want the, dude, I want someone uh, to put like segments of that. Uh, dude, you want uh, fu- somebody to fuck a no, chick in front of you? You want it to be a black dude, right? They, be, they need to take the meme where it's uh, Vince McMahon getting more and more uh, 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 yeah. turned on by something, yeah. but then it's just different just levels of scroll of that DM. Oh, and dude, just, as it progresses, that would he's be, getting I thought you were gonna say more and more shit on her. <laughs> part of that, that works too. Uh, dude, make a sticker. Just screenshots from different parts of the video. Make a sticker where it's like the Calvin and a Hobbes. 
Bob sticker where he's peeing on like a Ford symbol, but it's Vince McMahon shitting <laughs> on a chair. I do, I do like that before I got here, I was like, Taylor, I, I know, Taylor, this probably be like more of like an intellectual podcast. <laughs> now we're talking about <laughs> shitting on hookers. Dude, Vince it's McMahon. not even a hooker. It's a chick that worked for the company. Well, she's getting paid and yeah. she's fucking, so... I'm sure HR had nothing to say uh, about that. It's so great. <laughs> Vince McMahon's just like, oh, fucking Do you shit. think it's gotten any better since they sold it to the Saudis? Just saying. <laughs> it, They're did, into shit. Yeah, no, yeah. Isn't it like a big thing? Is like, in Dubai, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Famous it's, chicks go out there and get shit on by princes for like $2 million. That's such a weird... Hey, listen. Yonkey can spread all the misinformation he wants, but WWE <laughs> did not sell to the Saudis. Dana White and TKO bought it. So... I follow this a lot. Wrestling Observer. What's up, baby? <laughs> that might be the gayest shit anybody's said on this podcast. Says the man in a fur coat that sticks shit up his ass. No, he's, I swallowed he's dressed, it. He's I shit it out. trying to make it to the WWE. Okay, Curtis, mm-hmm. Curtis, ask me a question. Okay. Trying to make it to <laughs> off-Broadway cats. Let's make it sad. We, we need I don't know which one, one of these guys is going to pull a gun out first, but... <laughs> but. <laughs> In what ways are you inhibited from expressing love? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Pretty severe not, autism I'm diagnosis. not willing to shit on girls. <laughs> he keeps <laughs> shitting on girls. Is that why things with you and Ani don't work out? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> She says my shit is just too high. I want I want to be black like her. my siblings. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't you shit on me? <laughs> Why is it always green? <laughs> See, I didn't like that riff, but then something hits you and you gotta say it. So yeah, no, it's good, dude. Um, also, yeah, I was like, I thought this was gonna be way more intellectual, but listen, also, wait, wait, every, wait, I knew yeah. who they were having on, dude. I expected this in full. <laughs> That's fine. Um, okay. In what ways am I inhibited from expressing love uh, 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 publicly? Probably. I, I think. It, you don't I, do I think PDA. That's the, yeah, I'm, I'm a real bit. It, it's been a problem in in, in previous relationships. I, I don't. I'm, I'm. I'm not a big like. Yeah. No. I have the opposite. I you have problems like, with people who want to express. Don't PDA touch to me. me. Don't. Don't tell me. Don't. 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 Don't call me a pet name in public. Don't listen. I. We're. We're friends. In public. like. I don't. I don't listen. You don't uh, want people to know that's your bitch? No, like, I want people to listen. Well, uh, I, Dookie Boots, get one, over I, here. I prefer that other people not, 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 not think that the dynamics between us are, 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 are quite that way. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't not want people Shrooms to know that we're dating. Um, but, 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 yeah, no, I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather keep things very, uh, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Yeah. That's a good, I mean, some people have people have branders. Yeah. Oh, what great. That? Party foul. Nothing important. Okay, cool. I don't put anything valuable anywhere near the table, okay? I knock shit off of it all the time. He knew that we were coming, Joel. Yeah. I knew that I was going to be valuable. I, I feel <laughs> that. I feel that. Is it my turn to... Yeah, it is. Okay, Taylor, t- go go ahead. Let's try to get some intellectual uh, questions out here. Okay. Shitting on women. Where are you <laughs> If you could ask the universe one question and get the truth, what would you want to know? Oh, fuck that. You want a different one? Yeah. Let's one, go. I, can't, I'm, I can't do that. Of all the beliefs you hold, which is most likely to be considered barbaric in 150 years? It's barbaric in 150 years. Uh, if you want, like, I hope this isn't true. Uh, pers- probably, like, uh, how much food that we, like, waste. Or it's, like, belief. That's not, like, a belief, but, like, yeah. eating meat, I guess. <laughs> eating meat. Yeah, like, Fair. eating meat. That's pro- in, Like, in 150 years, that's probably going to be, like, a weird thing. Yeah. As I soon know, as we I have, have, like, viable nutritional ways to green, synthetically when they create. Start euthanizing now, people I, and turning them into I'm not ashamed cues. of it all. I love meat. I don't... Yeah. I, I'm not... I'm the least no. vegan. Like, whatever. I'm happy, yeah. I'm happy you want to have, but if Same. I was, like, had to think about what's the thing that's probably going to be the most change, it's probably going to be that. Yeah, probably. This cat eats... Apples and bananas. I don't believe them. <laughs> I've never even eaten a fruit. <laughs> no, like, I like a nice ribeye. Okay, Yankee, who, oh, who yeah, do you want to... Um, Taylor, why don't you go ahead and, and rip a question for me. If you could press a button that would instantly erase every single false belief you have, would you do it? Ooh, false mm. belief. Interesting. Mm. It's a way of knowing what... They're not going to be replaced true. with the correct beliefs, but yeah, that's that's just a question. Of anything how much you think you that's wrong, yourself, it's gonna, so. yeah, a lot. Um, <laughs> I guess you? just rip it. Let me yeah. let me be the most evolved form of person I can be. Yeah. Dude, you could just be like you could just like but and just like yeah, like, everything's been <laughs> false. Yeah, you're you're made into a a, <laughs> a fetus essentially. Yeah, dude. <laughs> You have one. We have one brain cell. Left. Except, he, except he's still Yonkey, just in the fur coat. Yeah. 
Uh, True. What's the no, process? No, no, no. Are, no, the, no. are the connections between the neurons actually severed? Would you like spaghettify your brain on accident if enough of the shit was unhealthy? Yeah. His Holy parents shit. still dress him this way, except he got changed his diaper. <laughs> he, he, he hits the button. The only thing that remains true is that he still wears polo. He's like polo's a lifestyle. Polo's a, a yeah. heritage brand. Classics <laughs> never go out of style. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like turns out that was true. That's the, <laughs> the only thing that stays. Okay, Angel. What's your uh? What, what card yeah, do you want to Oh, uh, what were the colors again? Intellectual. Okay, sad, technically, technically you don't pick. Personal, you pick who? Controversial. Oh, yeah. I pick who? Curtis, uh, why don't pick you pick a person? This one. You get to pick the person. Okay, I'll just Fuck it. Curtis, go God for it. it. Okay, uh, <laughs> let me see. Got Andrew Yonke here. <laughs> Where were you the last time you hoped no one would notice your undermar skid, or underwear skid marks? Oh, shit. Yeah, um, I, 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 I was sick. <laughs> and I went out to the store with my wife. Yeah, so was I last time. And uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'm trying to tell a story here. <laughs> and we get out of the store and we get in the car and I sneeze and I automatically shit my pants. Like as she's like, we're leaving and she's like, so do you want to go anywhere else? I'm like, I don't. and then I'm like, no, we got to go home like right now. And, and she was like, what? I was like, I just shit my pants. Like, a lot. I shit my pants a lot. And, like, we go, and it doesn't matter. Like, we get to the house, and I get up, and there's a straight skid mark in her cloth car seat. Dude, that's why you got to ride back home like a chick who just got a BBL, like, on your knees facing the other way. (laughs) Or sit on, like, a track. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, but he was trying to play it cool. He was hoping that no one would know. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, No, No, my back was thrown out, so I couldn't fucking really Did it slide up the back, too? No, it soaked through my jeans. Oh, shit. Into her car seat. So I shit my wife's just car. Just put them in, in the freezer. freezer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just in the freezer. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That was a... <laughs> Ty no. goes to the room. <laughs> we, we had to burn it. No. Uh, actually, we did nothing about it. She was like, you got to clean that up. And I was like, I'll clean it up. Never and cleaned I, it. Get around I, there. I put a towel on it. Does she a... still drive this car? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I drove it to the club yesterday. Curtis is like, that's when you get a new car. That's... <laughs> That's when you get a new old No, that's car. when you hit somebody I, with that car and be like, well, we got yeah, a new car. Is, you love hitting people. That's, that's when you trade in the 92 friend. Metro for the 94 <laughs> Honda. I hit this guy. He shit my car seat somehow. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> Does insurance cover this? Uh, Have you not seen the Seinfeld episode with the couch? You just got to find a way to get rid of it. You got to trade it for nah, something. Man. Yeah. No, Seinfeld isn't my jam. I fuck. I've been the, rewatching the, the guy Seinfeld. who texted. I'm gonna come in like Kramer. <laughs> the Seinfeld guy. Yep. yep. <laughs> Plot twist. Curtis, ask me a card. Okay. Let me go. Well, I'll do controversial. We're getting into our third hour, so it doesn't. That's it, cool. Yeah. People haven't eaten or anything, so we'll probably do. I'll do one more. We'll get Curtis one more, and then we're probably gonna wrap up. Okay. Sweet. Do you have any political or social opinions that you're afraid to express to your friends? Uh, I, don't, mm. I don't think you strike me as a guy who's afraid to express. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, yeah. Let's like, let's all do this one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's the? Yeah. I mean. Maybe actually, just 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 on the basis of depending on like the friends that are around. There's 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 political uh, beliefs that I have that like I know I hold this position, but like I I, I I'm not confident I can articulate it in a way that's gonna make uh, uh make it seem like a you great position. Than you are. I don't want to. Maybe yeah. And, and, and so it's like I, I kind of don't want to bring it up because it's like ah, this is gonna be pulling teeth, having a conversation. I'm not gonna be able to to, mm-hmm. to represent the the idea very well and. Whatever, you know, like someone's going to ask me to define what a social Democrat is and I'll be like, fuck, you know, <laughs> it's not, it's not fun. Right well, there's the thing. I have things that I'm, <laughs> it just it depends on which friends I'm talking about. There you Some go. friends I'm not afraid to express anything to. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Also, if I'm not comfortable to say it to my friends, why well, would I be willing to say it on a podcast? That's really <laughs> <laughs> it's the real, real crux of the thing. That's fair. Dude, you got to give they it your exist. all 100% though. Like, like if you want people, you want people to know who you are. You want to be genuine about it though. You know, so I, I, not, I, I just said some of the worst shit I you could ever I just, say. I disagree with that entirely. I like the, that the, the notion that like, if you're anybody was st- like the whole thing of like, uh, this happened recently where like uh what's that chick Brittany Broski is it I'm, not, I'm unsure TikTok oh, yeah. influencer or whatever anyway 
it, it goes for anybody. Like any influencer that has like a podcast that's like a comedian or something. That's somebody that's mm. not like a fucking yeah. academic or something. Uh-huh. They'll have like a podcast where obviously they overshare because you have a podcast yeah. and you have to yeah. talk. Yeah. And they'll make some stupid comment about like Israel Palestine or something. And then all their Ooh. comments are like, what the heck? My The girl who makes prank videos has the wrong opinion. It's like yeah. if you're going to a yeah. person that makes those type of videos for your, for your opinions, either disagree or agree, you are retarded also. Like, yeah. The viewer, if you're like yeah. criticizing, like if you're criticizing me for something like a political bit, I'm like, why are you listening to me? In the fr- I'm a comedian. Yeah, like, right. I'm yep. not somebody you should be looking. You don't have to agree with everybody you watch. Yep. So it's I, like, that's I disagree with the fact that like I have to express everything. It's like, no, oh, no, I, no, that's no, not no, my, no, that's not my lane. No, I'm not I, gonna... I, I don't want you to think that I'm saying that. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying like, if you are going to express yourself, like you should be genuine and original. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, okay. Like not yeah. this overshare or anything like that. And also, there's we don't have to hit every topic as a mm-hmm. comedian. Yeah. True. If, if you're on a platform like this, like it's like, oh, Israel Palestine, and it's mm-hmm. like, what's your th- idea on that, Joel? And it's like. No. Uh, I just I, hope both teams have fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope everybody gets to go home with a trophy. Uh, Say Christ is Lord right now. Yeah. <laughs> Say Christ is Lord. Do it. Do it in the camera, Yonki. Say Christ is Lord. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Say Christ is Lord. But it, 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 I, I laugh at those posts. They're like, can you believe... Yeah. What Mr. Beast just said on abortion. It's like, you're, oh, you, Jesus. you read that back to yourself. Wait, like, read that. What did Mr. Yourself. Beast say about abortion? Is yeah. he giving out 10,000 abortions? <laughs> yeah. He goes, he goes last time. Oh, last crack them like lobsters. I found 1,016 year olds. Yeah. Last yeah. person standing in the circle gets an abortion. Yeah. I'm transporting, uh, yeah, yeah, 10,000 Missourians. First, to... <laughs> I cured blindness. Now, I'm ending teenage pregnancy. Oh, dude. One at a time. <laughs> Can you guys believe that shit? though where people are like uh, mr beast gives those people eye surgery and they're like mr beast thinks disabilities need to be yeah, cured it's <laughs> like, yeah and it's like who gives a shit like these people he's not duct taping well, i mean it was all the in. chairs yeah. and forcing i think if you commented on that video you have a disability that does need to be cured <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. like that that is fucking dumb but also, like I said, no, there does we don't need to express opinions on every single subject that comes up. Stick think, to the shit you know, and dick jokes. I think opinions should be safe, legal, and rare. Okay. <laughs> I think opinions are like assholes. Uh, <laughs> uh, everybody's is a little different, and you should never show them in public. Mm-hmm. Mine has drugs asked. in it. <laughs> yeah. I think you should only show them in public. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Taylor, I'm giving you yeah. the, the last... As, as the hosts, I'm giving you the last go. Okay, this one's a little closer to the last one, but okay. Which of oh, your beliefs no, would be no. the most difficult to no, change, even in the no, face of overwhelming evidence? Or do you want a different sucks. card? Well. Let us bully you into a new question. Yeah, if dude. Curtis says he wants a different card, I'll pick him a different card. Um, Sure, it might take me a while to think of one, an answer to that, so I'll pick another one. You must pick a number right now and live that many years total in good physical health. You can't die before. You can't extend after. How many years do you choose to live starting now? In good physical health? Good physical health. Uh, Like you're automatically in good physical health or you have to maintain (laughs) good physical health? Well, you can't die before the timer goes up. Yeah, you age. You'll age, but you're going to, yeah. But you'll maintain peak physical health for that age. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you so, can live for 200 years and I'll, look I'll like live, a California I'll live, raisin. I'll yeah. live to 85. With great knees. Oh, to 85? Dude. However many years takes you to 85? Yeah, so like would it be 62 on. years yeah. from now? Because past 85, if I'm if I'm a healthy 90-year-old, that's probably still not even a good fucking... But you'd be like peak health. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, it would be Sorry, like... I couldn't get through that without The laughing. best 90-year-old, you'd, like, you would be it. Yeah. Yeah, but I've seen, like, Good ninety year old. Some look. some ninety year olds are pretty good, dude. You'd look at fucking to, president. Look yeah. at the president of the United States, dude. Yeah, you'd, <laughs> look at how much yeah. he gets done. True. You'd impress all you your grandkids by lifting dumbbells and changing your own tennis balls on your walker, <laughs> dude. You like, could probably yeah. still but fuck like, chicks in their twenties. Influencer. I looked at it. I was like eighty five. That's enough for me to see grandkids. You, That's probably like yeah. good enough you, for me. Oh, uh, dude. Fucking to be that old and to remember everything. 
No, like I'm good. On Let me that. Say, if I read a book a week until I'm 85, that's I mean, for a sec. Yeah, yeah, but you also remember all the feelings you've ever felt and like all the breakups. It's like remember you're like, I also, sent that why not? picture but of my you couch also, to that chick for no reason. Yes, but you've also had the most amount of time to like develop and like deal with it. Yeah, so you're, no. and you're wiser than yeah, you ever were. Like I, I don't deal with stuff. I just move on. Well, yeah, but like, he does. So he can live to yeah, 85. Yeah, he does. Yeah. You're a very uh, well, uh, like <laughs> he's got a high baseline. Yeah, you're I a well-adjusted. Yeah, human. you're well-adjusted. Mm -hmm. like, I get, I get that. Like people say that. Like this guy oh, went like, to West. People are like, oh, you're well-adjusted. I'm like, yeah. Is that? Are you saying like I look autistic? But like, oh, he's <laughs> actually pretty good. Like <laughs> I do like the diet. You're well. It, it does imply that like you had to be changed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they really did a good job with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, I, I get that. I get that a lot of people. When I'm not goofing around on mic and shit, people are like, wow. Like, no. like you're doing all that? And it's like, yeah, I can actually complete tasks and shit, man. Like, mm -hmm. He can count a Home Depot. Yeah. So I, I better. I'm, having, I'm, I'm going to be in charge of raising a child mm -hmm. most of enough. the time on my own. Like, and given enough crack, he can fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, for anybody who hasn't been on the podcast before, when we wrap up the podcast, I play ukulele for about 30 seconds to two and a half minutes, and we'll just go around and you just sum up your experiences. If there's anything you want to plug, shout it out, and, 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 and just, 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 just say anything you want to say to the people at home over the next 30 seconds to two and a half minutes. Okay, I'll go first. Starting with Curtis. Okay, uh, thank you, Taylor, for having me on. It was a fun time. Uh, host a podcast with Connor Don and other Kansas City meeting called Riff City. Uh, we also have a week, or not a weekly, a monthly show at the Barrel of the Bottoms, fourth Saturday of every month. Uh, Barrel of the Bottoms, 9 o'clock on Saturday, called Riffs After Dark. Woo! Uh, it's a great show. Come out to it. That's all I have. Thank you. Nice. Uh, it's Andrew Yonke at 1000 Grams of Cocaine on Instagram. Mm, Always love coming on this podcast. Um, mm. Come see me, Duck Comedy uh, Fundraiser on February 3rd, uh, February 9th at the Rollin' with Laughter at the Roaring Twenties. Raising funds for these balls. Um, I got a uh, fucking Casual Animal March 12th and the Bird Showcase Comedy Show on February 23rd. Um, there's a fundraiser for my dog. I'm in a tremendous amount of debt. Please help me out. Um, put all the Rip treatments on a credit card because I'm a genius. Um, High interest rates. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> like 30%. You guys have a great rest of your night. Uh, Outlaw Cigar Bar every Thursday at 7 p.m. We host an open mic. God bless America. Okay, uh, I'm Joel Paul. You can uh, catch me at uh, on Instagram at, 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 at Joel Paul Comedy. Uh, I'm going to be doing the Catch a Trying Star showcase on February 24th, I believe. Uh, what's Sheezer's new show that he's got going on? Java Garage. Java Garage. But it has another name. Comedy Inflation. Comedy Inflation. I'm going to be doing Comedy Inflation, I think, like March 21st. Uh, I'm, I'm dyslexic, so I'm probably getting the dates wrong. So uh, just check out on my Instagram. Uh, there's those dates and many more to come because I'm booking out like a motherfucker uh and please come out support all of us support live comedy support entertainment uh come out and have a laugh man uh deuces spay and neuter your friends everybody have a good time don't don't neuter your dogs <laughs> dude thank you for having me on again. just the human friends andrew oh yeah 100 percent. fucking a man